This is now um, the eighth session of Sin and Skullduggery. And this is uh, the last third? What, what, what was that word? Um, before the, third the penultimate. The penultimate. I know, yeah. yeah. Before the penultimate. The, the penult penultimate episode. Yes. <laughs> the pre penultimate. <laughs> Yeah, the pre-penultimate episode of uh, Sin and Skullduggery. So, uh, a lot of things are uh, have happened and will happen in this session. And, uh, just to recap for the viewers, what happened last session was uh, uh, Trandafira, one of the members of Overshadow, has been teleported away from the team and was sent back to his home uh, home place homeland and uh went missing for around a month uh while overshadow tries to make preparations to uh counter golgotha's attempts of returning and also finding their allies back uh, they were able to track down uh Trandafira and rescue him before the arcane broker could kill him uh well, after rescuing him they uh, meet up with the leaders of the Skullduggery and discuss plans on how to uh, stop the Arcane Broker from destroying the Abrogate Arbor, the tree that is keeping Golgotha from coming back to Tyran. Unknown to everyone, Golgotha, who was pretending to be Esmond, is hiding inside Trandafira's mind and uh, manipulating uh, him from the inside and also checking whether uh, the curse magnet that was placed on him as a child is properly uh, prepared. So while that was happening, Overshadow believed that getting information from Rebecca Karen is a nice way to find where the Arcane Broker is. But long story short, unknown to everyone, they're the same person. And Rebecca, uh, was able to extract the curse from Trandafira and at the same time from his brothers Cassandra and Octavia from across the country and used it uh, to guide Golgotha and uh, give him a beacon to find his way to Tarin. So she runs away from Overshadow and sets the Soteris on them while blowing up her building, but they manage to escape. And she flies to the highest mountain of Skaldagri Island where the tree is located and starts destroying the tree. Overshadow runs after them, kills the monsters that were guarding them, but failed to stop her from destroying the tree. In comes Golgotha, who releases a massive wave of energy across Tyran and uh, he also ends up killing Nikolai, who was also present in the scene. No! And, uh, he was killed in a way that is very hard for him to be resurrected. So, yeah. And not only that, but Golgotha summoned uh, this battle station known as the Heaven Sphere. And uh, it's a massive landmass, a massive island filled with roots and tentacles that... Uh, and on the top of that island is a city uh, that where his fortress is located, and it's just floating ominously Mirable. on top of Skaldagri Island. And uh, yeah, Overshadow goes back uh, to their base dejected and tried to recover from their fight. And Skaldagri is now basically uh, preparing themselves for for this new crisis. And uh, with this episode, it is now the 45th day of Green Sprout, and it is around 9 a.m. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like that. Uh, it doesn't look that way. It doesn't look like it's 9 a.m. in the morning because the weather has been thrown out of balance on Skaldagri Island. For the past few hours, the city is subjected to. Arctic windstorms without any signs of stopping, and the clouds are blotting out the sun. Now, many citizens of the city uh, have done a massive evacuation. Those who aren't able to fight has left their homes, 
and they have fled to Tenda Town's domain. And Tenda Town is using its reality shaping abilities to create a massive fortress so that everyone could hide there safely while while uh, keeping out the monsters away. Any monsters that try to enter Tenda Town's domain, they uh they ba the town basically shapes the landscape the terrain like trapping them in like caves that like you know get 3d printed out of nowhere or like they crash into mountains that appear as well so tender town is like working overtime protecting the island's population many of the island's population is begging for ten to like teleport away from the island but Ten believes that there are still people out there who haven't made it to its domain, so it refuses to escape before it's, you know, sure that everyone that can be saved is saved. Not only that, uh, most of the criminals and other residents have tried to flee the island, but unfortunately, like, the Arctic winds have made it very difficult to navigate outside the island, so any ship and airship is, like, struggling against the, the winds. And uh, other updates include that the coma patients that uh, have taken Heaven's Fear drug, they've all simultaneously woken up and have been transforming into like horrible monsters that roam around the city and are killing everyone in sight. Most of them have turned also into sea monsters and like winged creatures surrounding the island, so ensuring no one goes in or out easily. And... Uh, in response to this, the Skullduggery Corps Corps has activated their skeleton army and are providing protection to as many citizens as they can. Several mercenaries and adventurers have also chosen to, chosen to join the fight against the monsters. So uh, it's really like a, an all-out, like it's a war zone out there. And... Uh, Romeo and his dragon Juliet is also providing like critical advantage throughout this fight, but no one is sure how long they're able to uh, provide that kind of uh, advantage. Uh, Overshadow, the Spearhead Club has unfortunately been overrun by monsters as well, so it, you, it forced you guys to, end, to get inside the U3 unit and have it run all the way to Tenda Town's domain, so... This is yet another one of the last memory of Nikolai that has been forcibly taken from you again. And yeah, uh, we're now going to cut to inside the U3 unit where all of you are there. Uh, let me just find where the thingy ah, is here. There we go. So you guys are inside the U3 unit. And oh, okay, nice. Buns is also here. So, uh, has the map changed for you guys? Yes. It, it just did for me. Okay, very nice, very nice. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm glad Buns is here. Buns, we're probably going to play this scene now since, since you're here, so that's good. Is it all right if someone streamed the map? I can stream oh, it. Okay, I can... go. Uh, you want to do it, Link? Yeah. Okay. Go, guys. Uh, okay. So right now, we are inside the U3 unit, and uh, you guys are in the fireplace uh, of the manor. So you're all gathered here uh, alongside with the Magister and the Major. And yeah, uh, before we start, Trandafira, who has been through... Quite the ordeal now for the past few days. Back. Yeah. Has a few things to say to the group, I guess. So, uh, trying to fear the floor is yours. Uh, everyone is here waiting for you. Um, what you have to say. Oh. Okay, Barnes is typing. Yeah. Miss, Miss Ma'am is not feeling so good. Yeah. In fairness, like, you can't blame Trend of Fear for feeling partly responsible, said. But, but he shouldn't, you know? He was gaslighted by, by two girl bosses, so, you know. Like, what can you do? 
What can we uh, do? Fira doesn't look too great, and what he's gonna say is that he wants to go back to Athendale to check on everyone back home. So guys, what is your um, reaction paper to that <laughs> statement? He wants to leave at this critical moment. Okay, good luck, have fun. <laughs> oh. Essentially. GLHS. What? <laughs> Bang. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, um, guys. Like he well, he, he just blurted he it out. So. Yeah, he's he he's, he has blurted it out. He's like he wants to check on everyone back home, in spite of the Arctic winds that are surrounding the island and making it hard to leave. I will ask him first. How does he intend <laughs> to go back home? Yeah. You teleport in or what? Like there's a there's a bagyo out there surrounding the island. I mean, Fira didn't say that they're going to do it. They just want to do it, want to go home, right? That's true. That's true. Sad. Maybe. But... I, I don't suppose Homer would know a tree in Athendel that he could teleport to. Uh. uh... The roots of the great tree. Yeah, would Homer? I would Homer even? I know, like, like but, do you th think Homer would? He might, because like he's originally from Athens. Oh. Would you imagine Homer like made made a pilgrimage to the great tree? Oh, I don't know about the great tree, but like I was thinking he might know of a tree that he could go back to. Like maybe uh, his favorite tree house or something. I don't know. Char. But we Simon, can make it so. Simon is gonna say, Sanjafira, I understand your concern for your family. I mean, we all have loved ones in in other places in Taran. But the thing is, the the threat right now, its biggest presence is here, and if we can somehow stop it. All of Taryn will be spared, including all our loved ones and families. My yeah. man said something like that with that voice, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the Magister will also say, Yes, that is true, my warlock. We need you here. Uh, with your abilities, you can be of great help, especially your telepathy. And the fact that you have made close contact with the enemy himself. And the fact that you're like big and like seven feet tall. <laughs> yes, we have a height advantage. Uh, and, then, and then the major chimes in like, yeah, that is true. Height advantage is everything. And then, you know, he's, <laughs> he's like eight feet tall. <laughs> okay. He's like crouching, you know, he's like a praying mantis right now. Okay, Bonds is still typing. Yes. Here is also eight. Well, <laughs> there you go. No, with but your, um, with your platform heels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Bonds, what is your um reaction paper to our arguments that you have to stay? <laughs> This is still contained to the island. Uh, yeah, ma the Major will chime in and he says, Well, yes, based on the intel that I have gathered from our undead drones out there, this, this whole thing is still being contained in the island itself. We have tried to send a few scouts to teleport out of here, but it seems like we have trouble teleporting in as well. I don't know. It's like... All forms of teleportation, at least going out of the island, is being disrupted somehow. Ah, uh, okay. Well, then that goes. That makes my plan of teleporting out of here useless then. Thanks yes. For bring that to our attention, Major. Oh, that is not a problem. 
And then uh, the Magister, he uh, comes in and he tells you guys, we, we have also have some of our troops acquire a tr tree barks of what was left of the Abrogate Arbor. You see, I'm not sure if it's magic. I'm not... It's not for sure if the magic still remains in, in its husk, but I believe it's worth keeping just in case. There are, we have theories that a magi the magic contained in objects don't truly go away even when the object is completely, you know, damaged in any way. And, uh, and then the major uh, tells you guys, by the way, do you remember if Golgotha said anything important when he showed up? Could you just recall and tell me some key details that he said? Any word that could probably help us combat him? Uh, something about his name not being in the book dead. You ever see? Wow. I have to hope that Esmond back home is safe until Golgotha is dead. He said something about we can't kill... Yeah. Not in and the then, movie. yeah, when, when, when you guys say that, uh, the Magister and the Major, uh, major look at each other. Uh, they step silent, and then uh, the Magister says, those are, those are an interesting choice of words. And then the Major's like, yes, indeed. Brother, you don't think it could be a lead, brother. Something that's worth trying if we are to stop Golgotha. And then the Magister tells, like, ah, my, my apologies. Uh, just to clarify what we're talking about is, if what you're saying is true, then Golgotha has obtained immortality because he removed his name from an artifact known as the Book of Vitro, who's the cardinal god of the dead. And based on our intel, we know that the book is located somewhere in Exoria, somewhere where, I don't know, probably only the pharaoh knows of. Is that not east from here? Well, it is also west from here as well. If you think about it. All right. But we have a problem. We can't teleport out of here and there's a storm that's blocking our way. How are we going to get to Exoria from here? That is true. I'm not sure. There's too much. Uh, we need more time to figure out how to get around this. And then all of a sudden, uh, you hear um, you hear like uh, someone entering the room. I mean the the manor. And uh, let's see here. Uh, gonna look for. Uh, kind of vitro. Now, where have I named that? Yeah, the Magister did mention that he is one of the gods of the dead. Well, he is the god of the dead, the cardinal god of the dead. So, yeah. Uh, as as you were, as all of you were wondering, how how are you going to get out of here? Somebody enters the place, and. You hear uh, a voice saying, like, Vendetta, where are you? I think uh, Mika is still BRBing. My the last okay. shot she had was BRB. Ah, okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hold on.
Yeah, but what about you guys? Do you guys react to like um? Oh, is he talking to us? I thought uh, I always thought that he just talks to uh, Vendetta. Yeah, I mean Valak is uh, he is not um now after after the incident with uh with Vendetta fulfilling her wish, like Valak's essentially free and now he has regained like a corporeal form and everything. And yeah, he can interact with you guys now. So yeah, uh Mika, you you yeah, you hear Mika, you hear Vendetta, you hear Valak actually coming inside the U3 manor. And like shouting out for you, actually. Oh. Yeah, definitely go go to where Balak is. Yeah, so so he's there. He finds you guys. Oh, and it's like, oh my gosh! Oh my I've gosh! Been, I've been looking everywhere. I've been trying to get to you guys, but it's so hard to teleport in. Uh, how did you I, get in here? I thought teleportation in is impossible. Yeah. The, the rest as well, Magister and Major, like, yeah, how did you get in here? And then, uh, it's like, well, here's the, f well, here's the thing. Uh, initially, I tried to uh, teleport to this island where you all are here and where Vendetta is, but then mm -hmm. something strange was happening. I was, like, getting an interruption. When I dig deep and used our connection, me and Vendetta, as Warlock and Patron, I realized that she's technically, well, technically this entire island is not, I mean, physically, it looks like you guys are in the material plane, but this whole island is kind of a part of the Feywild now. So it's a matter of, you know, you, you aiming for the proper destination. That's probably why your teleportations and your plane shifts aren't working properly. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. All right. So why were you looking for me? Did you have anything? Well, through our pact, the Swarlock and Patron, I was sensing that uh, you were... Um, I was sensing a bit of anguish from you, which is why I tried to come here and check on you. Did anything happen? You know, apart from the island being in the Feywild now, some, it looks like something terrible is happening. Yeah, my uncle, my hot uncle Nikolai died. Uh, no. Yeah, Not that's a waste. Hot uncle, shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm the father figures in my life always die. Oh maybe, my Yeah, God. maybe I'm not meant to have a daddy. I'm so sorry for you. No, no, it's okay. Like, surely I also count as a f parental figure. Oh, I'm not are a you man or a daddy? woman. Oh. I can be your parent because Where I'm. I I have no I have no man parts. Basically, I'm just. Okay. Uh, yeah. That would be yeah, nice. Yeah. You can be both my mommy and my daddy. Sure, surely, yes. I can see a red flag. I can see a death penalty <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> I love how Vendetta got over her uncle's death by finding, <laughs> yeah, Valak's the substitute. It's like I'm over it now. <laughs> by the, by the way, Jed's still there. He he's he was upset initially, but now he's like, uh, very calm in a very unnerving way as well. You know, for someone who just lost their father like 24 hours ago. <laughs> did, did Jed also find a new daddy? Uh, not yet. <laughs> Valak, Valak can be his daddy. Oh, wow. Valak, Valak can be whomever he wants him to be. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, um, Hostess wasn't actually initially in the room. But uh, she came in, and then she asks you guys, um, Hey guys, by the way, um, is any of you holding uh, baby Jonathan right now? Where is he? Do I have him? No, <laughs> I don't you remember don't. if I had him in the first place. Oh no. Literally none of you have baby Jonathan. So where is baby Jonathan? Where, why did you... Where, where did you... Last put the thing. The thing. The thing. I, well, I left. 
I left the thing in the crib, and I just left to like use the bathroom. Well, none of you were. None of you watched him. <laughs> well, you didn't ask me. He should have told us. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what kind of bathroom? My God. Surely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We were just right next door. You that's, just not, say, hey, that's not. Please. That's not. That's not good parenting, no. <laughs> Where is no? But I left them in the crib. Surely you can't crawl around this manner and like have the presence of mind to exit this interdimensional mansion. He should be around here somewhere. I mean, and then... we're facing a world crisis. Anything could happen. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. Yeah, we're in the Feywild. Uh, a, a pixie could have come in and took, took, took yeah. baby, the thing. Oh my god! Don't fucking say that. I just <laughs> had the baby. And uh, the not thing. to mention. <laughs> The thing is the offspring of like two acrobatic parents who you don't know if they can do like a backflip acrobatic outside shit. of yeah. the crib. Like yeah, do we a, don't know that. Do a wall crib run out of there and like land somersault on their... Yeah. That makes Angel sense. feels a sense of dread and pride at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway, guys. Uh, you're or the baby. You're a you're a spy. You probably thought to put yeah, like a tracking a stone yeah. on 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 your thing. Not a, why would I technology? Why would I put it? And then you hear the cries of the baby, so you guys know where he is. Uh, um, he's right in the dinner area. The, there's the thing. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> and then. The thing, baby Jonathan, oh no, is held in the arms of Golgotha himself. Oh no, wow. oh, no. he's right here with you guys. Everybody, and, get over here. And uh, when you all approach, Golgotha like holds the baby and he tells you guys, No, no, I simply want to talk. Surely you won't attack me when I'm holding an innocent baby in my arms. How good's my aim? Uh, <laughs> you can try shooting him, sure. Uh, it better be a one-shot. Um, yeah. <laughs> Wait, how, uh, how is he holding the baby? I'm kind of scared I might hit the... the, the this you, is your baby. What do you mean? <laughs> right now, your pistol is like give. It's like a plus 12 to attack. So I feel like your aim is okay. okay yeah, but I'm, the I'm damage... Fine. Yeah. You better kill him in one hit. Yeah. Oh, that's true. No, but there are some like my damage gonna drop lang ang baby that will catch it. Oh, uh, did you, you touch the baby? I'll catch it. I'll catch the baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Can I say it kind of? Okay. Can I like, try on... to get the baby? Wait, how do I roll? Wow. Uh, roll a d20 plus 12. Oh my Sorry, fucking god. Well, I don't guys. think yeah, I don't think this should how this is how we should handle a hostage situation, but sure. No, I'm I'm um I'm angry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I'm also very confident. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's get it. Yeah, okay. and you're all like, you know, he killed Nikolai. This is the bastard that killed Nikolai, you know, your your hot boss, your hot uncle. Yeah. Sige lang, at least Nikolai didn't um, die a virgin, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, would, that would have sucked. Yeah. Wait, what do I type? I, I don't uh, remember. Uh, exclamation mark R, and then space, uh, D20 plus 12. I'll, I'll, I'll add the, the item for you. Sige, go. Uh, that's a 25. 25. Nice. Okay, so Vigil, out of anger, you know, for threatening your baby, you pull out the gun, Holy Avenger, and you shoot Golgotha right in the forehead. Uh, but oh. before he could drop the baby, he's still holding on to the baby. Now, some of this brain matter is flying out of the air. Ew. And then what you see is that one of the pieces of brain matter just like crawls out of the hole where the bullet passed through and the brain matter like crawls out like like a worm and what it does is it flies around his head and now you have like a visceral he has like a visceral halo of brain matter floating around his head like a oh. crown 
and he and then the bullet hole just heals itself again. And so he drops the baby, or no, he still holds the baby. Damn. And, uh, it's like that's well, that's awfully rude. I could have dropped your baby. <laughs> well, I tried. Anyway, if you're done trying to murder me, I would like to tell you guys something. Yes, <laughs> proceed. What it is that you want from us? All right, well, I must say that you, Overshadow, you've managed to get my attention, even when I was back in the Feywild. You've been stopping a lot of Rebecca's activities even before you knew she was behind everything. And you are all very, very impressive, you know. And that's saying a lot. I'm like a thousand years old and I've been to a lot of wars. But you, and then he points at Homer, you're the one that surprised me the most, Homer. Because even when I put on that whole show... When I had Rebecca impersonate those arc face with my illusion magic before your little group, I was hoping to trick you all into finding the tree for me. But what I didn't expect was the power you had over your dreams and over teleportation. You just evolved and gained that power on your own, which was really impressive. So with all these impressive things you've done, I decided I should give you all a chance. Why don't you, Overshadow, join me uh, in my quest to unite all Taran against coming threats. There are a lot of rifts that are opening soon, and more will open. But if we work together, then maybe we can close them all and bring peace to Taran. Okay. How does that sound? It sounds good. So you'll join me? Yes. How do we know if we can trust you? I mean, you can start by uh, returning the thing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll only return the thing if if you give me a an actual answer. You I, can trust I me. I said yes. Oh well, what about the rest of you? Oh <laughs> wait, uh, Bones can insight. Yeah, you can insight. You can insight him. I'll do an insight also. Okay. I mean, all well, I think I have a thing where I can. Yeah. Identify. Yes. Shit. Carlo, do exclamation mark <laughs> update. Oh, wow. I have one for, for Lincoln. <laughs> shit. Aw, oh, shit. Simon is lying about him joining. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's a 10, though. 10 deception. Okay. Some of you, for some of you, you guys seem to like... Like, the whole point of him saying that Aaron's rifts are opening, like, he has a point. Like, if Golgotha has the means to close all these rifts, this could, like, prevent future problems. So he kind of is making a point here. But Fira, well, with your insight check, he's been inside your mind for, like, up this couple of few days. And all he did was deceive you by impersonating Esmond. So you find it really, really hard to trust this guy. So yeah. So, uh, what what do you think of that, Buns? Hey, Buns is typing. Uh, for for the rest of wait. There is always a catch. You may be correct with the rifts opening, but you are not trustworthy. Oh, if it's about deceiving you this whole time. Well, I apologize about that. I needed to do that just so I could arrive here. But what, what about the rest of you? If you can help me complete the Vessel of Voids, I can use it to close the rifts. And if anyone tries to stop us, I can just erase them. Every last one of them. And you know, we won't have to compete for wealth and power anymore. It can be whoever we decide deserves to live. So what do you all think? 
Yo, Raph, I have a question. This timeline yeah. of Rebecca, Karen, slash Ar Arcane Broker, is this yeah. common knowledge to us already? Uh, that was mostly for me, but that's not common knowledge. Oh, okay. That, yeah. That was very important. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright. But so far, the only thing we know for sure about Golgotha is that Mining Cabal and... Uh, what do you call this? How do we call the it? shadowy core. Shadowy core. They were saying that this guy is bad juju. Yeah, but here's also the thing. I I don't know if you're um in case uh in case you AFK at the time. He yeah. Gogotha, Gogotha did say that Rebecca Karen put on a show and was impersonating all that arc face with illusion magic. Ah, uh, okay. So and impersonated um yeah um Salenthia and Ezra they were all illusions or like impersonations uh, by Rebecca and Golgotha was surprised because you developing your walker in dreams that wasn't that was all you just you just your own skill and power it wasn't like a blessing from the any of the courts oh, so that one powerful. shocked him Okay, so in essence, Homer's whole like life uh, and stuff, it's all just part of this dude's plan. Yeah. Either that or, you know, like you can you can still, you know, rise above this deception and still make it your purpose, you know. <laughs> I think I think we should so, join. Anyways. Yeah, I mean Homer life's purpose thing, but then he's learned a lot throughout the years so he just basically says to him what else? What else you don't know what you're really up to Golgotha now this my friends they don't trust you I've learned that my friends if they don't trust someone really not good I think we should join. Yeah, I trust him. <laughs> think we should join? Yeah, I That's give Homer a wink. My, my, my convincing speech <laughs> should be, you know the, the line they say, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. <laughs> if this guy is the person we really want to fight, it's best we keep an eye on him. Uh, you guys can make a try and make a... Hmm. Because Homer's like, no, and then you guys are like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can so you guys are like, huddle. Yeah. <laughs> in front of him. Wait, give us a minute. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Golgotha will be. He'll he'll give you a confused look, and it's like. You go over go, there. No, go listen. ahead. Go ahead while I hold your baby. Yeah. By the way, you guys noticed that the baby uh, stopped crying like when you guys showed up, and that sounds alarming because like. He probably did something to a crying baby oh. to keep it quiet. Calm emotions. What kind yeah. of mother is not going berserk right now? Um, Hostess is scared, oi. Like, what if he does something to the baby if she makes the wrong move, said? Um, I'd like to shake hand with Golgotha. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah? Are you, I'll... so you're just gonna like come up to him and like put out your hand yeah dap me up bro i would say i would say that sounds like an interesting proposal i'll ride that i'll ride that train and see where it takes me hmm you make a really good offer and there's no one really left that i care deeply about so why not, right? Okay. Uh, okay, so you're all... <laughs> Homer is like, no. The rest are like, yeah. No, I'm actually just trying to... I'm not, yeah. I just want oh. to get the baby. Are you... So okay. you're lying. I'm a liar. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to... Um, Everyone's RK lying. With him. Right, Let's do. After the time yeah, do I have the charm spell that you prepared, Link? The one that spells scroll? 
I think it did, if you asked me to get it. I think I had asked you that before, no. I have a I feeling so, he yeah. has really yeah. good saving throws. But we'll see. At this point, I don't I even am... know if he's considered... Uh, Charmable. Yeah. <laughs> he's supposedly fey, so... Yeah. I mean, you can try. Yeah, try, try, try. TJ, we I can I mean, I'm pretty you. evil. Take it now, try it now. Like what charm? What do I have to type for that? Uh, I think exclamation mark. Uh, spell. Get I... Spell and then charm person. Spell or cast? Oh, it's cast, deba. Right? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, exclamation cast. Charm. Mm, charm I person. I don't think I have that in my shit though. Yeah. Oh, the scroll. Uh, so so oh. in order to do that, you have to. I have dash I at the end so that you can bypass any problems. Ah, cast charm person dash what? I. Uh, dash I. Dash I. I. The letter I, not not do not spell E I E Y I E Y E. I can't spell I. With space I, link. Yeah, with space charm person. That. What is this? One. Hello. Sixteen. DC sixteen. Ew. Let me um roll for it. And my uh, yeah. Would that secret. be one? I'm pretty. I'm a pretty evil person. So it takes one to know one. So yeah. maybe like we have like a villain villain pack or some shit like that. <laughs> You like killing people, I like killing people, you know, we should, we, we could just, you know, you could be my new daddy if you want. Do you want to be a daddy? Uh, and then, uh, so, so you do, here's the thing, uh, uh, Vendetta, like, you're using a scroll of charm person, so it's obvious that you're pulling out the scroll to cast it on him. You're not, like, doing it secretly, like. And you're doing it right in front of him, Batal. But when you pull out the scroll and you cast it, he's not doing anything at all to try and stop you. He just like is standing and waiting for you to cast it. And then, um, can you describe to me what your charm person looks like? Like, is your eyes turning black, or, or is there like, like an aura like hitting his head or something yeah. while you charm him? What is like happening? Uh... Like, uh, have you seen, like, an um, chi coming from, like, a warrior of some kind? Yeah. But instead of a dragon, mine's a, a serpent. And so uh -huh. it's, coming, it's coming out from the back of my head and just putting him in a trance. And then the serpent, uh, the thingy, the serpent thingy is trying to go towards his direction. Yeah, and yeah. Like, and, like, like, he can just see me and the serpent and then background is like literally no one else yeah uh what happened is when uh, when you try that when you're um when the energy serpent is uh tr when the chi serpent is trying to like enter his uh his head the brain matter crown that is floating on his head it suddenly mutates into a monster uh into like a worm monster and it starts biting at the serpent energy dissipating it so he was resisting the charm person spell without effort. And then Golgotha is like, um, I've existed for a thousand years and maybe even more. So I can tell when you guys are trying to uh, deceive me. I guess you won't join me then, which is a shame, but... Perhaps you'll all change your mind when it's evident you're fighting hopeless war. And then she points at Hostess and is like, Come here and take the baby off my arms. How are you now? I haven't transformed a baby into a hybrid monster in centuries, and my experimental mood is slowly coming back. And then, uh, Vendetta had like a dagger hidden in her back, but she, uh, puts it away and then slowly approaches and takes the baby and Golgotha gives her the baby 
Mm-hmm. And then there's that. And then she backs away a bit. And you guys also, um, you guys all look at the baby actually. And you notice that when you look at baby Jonathan, it looks really weird because he was born literally yesterday. And I guess because of all the stress and all what's happening right now, you just didn't notice, but it looks like baby Jonathan looks like a two-year-old now. What? Yeah. You're up so fast. (laughs) Literally. (laughs) Yeah, and while you're looking at baby Jonathan, Golgotha, like, just disappeared. So, yeah. But yeah, um, Jonathan is now like a two-year-old, fully. Does he talk? Not yet, as far as you know. That's kind of that's kind of a gift, no? You don't you don't have to have as much sleepless nights. <laughs> <I'll>... <laughs> I guess so. uh, Do you know that's one about way of looking at it. <laughs> like, yeah. is there some kind of like check? Magic check on the baby. What the yeah. shit just happened? You guys, you guys can do try and do an arcana check to like figure out what's happening. Okay. With advantage because the Manchester will try to help you guys. And Valak as well. So uh, do do your arcana checks with advantage. Whoever wants to. May as well. Ooh, Dust Bunny got a 19. Doesn't make sense. 15. Okay. So you guys, uh, what? for those of you with uh, high checks, you guys are discussing like, how the hell, what did he do to baby Jonathan? Why is he growing up so fast? And then uh, Valak... Nutella all Va- over him. What? <laughs> Uh, Valak and uh, what? What is this? Oh my God! What? Yeah, what? Covered in Nutella. <laughs> Ew! Curse! Curse the edge. Okay. Oh yeah, curious. Um, what does uh Vigil? How would you describe Baby Jonathan? Would he look more like you or like Hostess or or is <laughs> or um, just <laughs> yeah uh. Clearly, he'll have like black hair or something for no, sure. I thought, I thought he'd have orange hair, actually. Oh dang! Like, is your family like a redhead or something? I don't know. I just, my, my initial vision. <laughs> okay, sure. He can have redhead. As, as the first thing I thought. But hostess can... ha- is a brunette. Hostess yeah. cheated. No, hostess no, no, cheated. No. Oh my god. Recessive genes. Recessive genes, guys. Recessive maybe, genes. maybe Hostess had, maybe her grandfather or her father is a redhead. You know? Yeah. Yeah, guys. Just as well. Yeah, we can't, we can't have an affair right now in the middle of this <laughs> planetary <laughs> crisis. <laughs> no, but um, Valak and Magister chime in and tell us you guys, uh, the Feywild in general. Time doesn't. Time doesn't work properly in the Feywild. And since the island itself is in a part of the Feywild, perhaps when the island was absorbed into the Feywild, maybe the flow of time works differently for for baby Jonathan over here. Which means... And at this rate, it seems like for every hour, a month passes for Jonathan. So... Oh, damn. Uh... We ought to put a stop to this, uh, you know, as quickly as possible before he ages to death or something. So, yeah. Uh, we, and then the major said, um, while well, you were all uh, talking with Golgotha, I was, I, oh wait, well, I'm using wrong voices. So this is the major talking and he tells you guys, while you were all speaking with Golgotha, I was able to formulate a plan. Uh, since we now figured out that we are in the Feywild, we can just easily plane shift out of here back to the material plane. But where we need to land is important. We have to go to Exoria. 
find the pharaoh and speak with them about using the book of vitro we will have the mayor accompany you to make sure that you guys have credibility in your story and also based on our intel we know for a fact that emperor ronan is still in exoria and considering that you've worked with them before maybe you can help find a way of speaking with the pharaoh I hear he's been providing counsel for them for the past few weeks since the Exorian conspiracy. How does that plan sound? Let's go. Okay. We really don't have any other leads than this one. Any right. plan is a good plan at this point. Very well. And then Jed will come up to you guys and he says like, I'm coming with you guys. This guy killed my dad, and if I could help with uh, finding a way to kill him, I want to do so. That's revenge story, part two. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, Luke and uh, Sorka is going to be like, uh, hey, you guys, we're going to stay behind here and uh, keep, you know, keep track of things here. Me and Sorka over here, we're going to keep track of things and keep you guys updated on the happenings over here. Keep you posted when you return. Okay. okay. All right. Like a plan. Good way, luck, too. Enough, yeah. Were we able to long rest? I just realized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys long rest. This is the 45th day already. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Right. And, right. uh,. Yeah, so uh, you guys uh, start packing, and we can skip that. And uh, the mayor, who was organizing the evacuation uh, thing, she was uh, called back to accompany you guys, so she's with you now, the mayor. Uh, the, ma the magister will also come along, and so will Valak. Uh, the major will be you know um coordinating the their military forces so yeah you guys will now be teleporting oh the problem lang is uh you guys have never been to exoria so homer you might have to do that thing again where the same thing you did to find trandafira no problem you've met ronin already so I yeah, feel like, so yeah. I'm gonna do the same stuff. Scry on. Oh, wait, let me see Scry real quick. Can I do it if we're in different planes? Spell Scry. Oh. Let's see. You can see -na 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 is on the same plane of existence as you. That's problematic. Oh, wait, so... Exoria is where? Exoria is. The island is in the Feywild. It's in the fairy universe. And Exoria is obviously still in the material universe, man. So it's hard for you guys to, to scry on people since you're in different universes. Yeah, uh, so in other words, we have to plane shift the plates we know and then scry and then probably transport via plants. Yeah. It's just one additional step. So it shouldn't be an issue. So where will you guys uh, plane shift now? Um, probably Gamaril, yeah. I've okay. Seen many trees there. So it has to be a tree that you know, Link. Yeah, uh, it has to be a tree. So that you know, point of teleportation, and then it has to be a tree that I can see. So like tree of destination. So it both has to be trees. Okay. Uh, Homer, you'd also have the presence of mind to remember that you would have to probably alert Ronan to like be in a tree when you're scrying on him. And you know, also full on warning in my head that he's gonna be scryed on because if Ronan senses a scrying, he'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, there's no way I can tell him that. I don't have sending. None of you have sending, no? Yeah. I don't know, do we? <laughs> Wait. I don't have. Let me let me look at my thing. I feel like I feel like Deidre because he's an arcane trickster. Also, it'd be funny to see how he would 
dua sanding. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, like Peach actually has a uh, sending. And uh I'm looking at this paper now. <laughs> you Peach, you have not updated your spell so far. But I'll say you have sending. Because this is gonna be funny. Uh TJ, um with the sending spell, basically, you're going to have to contact ano, uh Ronin, Ronin. And you have to tell him in twenty-five sentences. Words. words. Yeah, in twenty-five words, yeah, sorry, in twenty-five words. Uh to tell him that you guys are, you know, want to meet him and to find a tree. So, <laughs> so TJ, tell me um, how you are going to message Ronan with sending. <laughs> Wait, is TJ... Um... I don't know if he is. I think he said AFK <laughs> somewhere back. Oh, no, no, no. He says back now. Yeah. Are you are you here, TJ? He's yeah. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. So so tell us like how will you message Ronan in twenty five words? Like, you, the point is you need him to know that you guys are looking for him and that he needs to be near a tree. So how will you tell him? Hi, Ronan. We try find you. Please be near tree. We use link mag. We use Homer magic. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice. That was you short. at the tree. <laughs> we that was short. That was concise. Uh, we will. Uh, I'll give you a wishbone for that. It was uh, short and concise. So. Uh, meanwhile, somewhere in Exoria, Ronan is shocked by hearing that. And then you just hear, because Ronan can can respond to that man. So he will tell you. Is that you, Overshadow? Very well. I will go find a palm tree to stand near. Then, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ed, uh you successfully um, alerted Ronan and Homer. You can go for it now and try to scry him. Wait, does he just randomly hear it? Like, Yeah, he does. He does <laughs> randomly hear yeah. it. I'm kind of wondering what he was doing. <laughs> what did he just does say? He... <laughs> He could have been he could have been peeing and then he had to stop. He could have stop. been taking a shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He could have been peeing, yeah. Mutiwa shaw a palm tree. Yeah. He will yeah, stay well, in the palm tree in pee position. It is it is canon now that Ronan was taking a shit when that was happening. So <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then he heard a voice in his head and he's like huh? <laughs> It'd be funny if he was taking a shit by a tree. He's like, no, don't go yet. Don't go. <laughs> He's like, I'll find don't another. Go. I'll find another tree. <laughs> oh my god. Alrighty, so yeah, uh, I'll use the Walker in Dream to be able to scry him, and then if I can see the tree, then I'll keep that in mind in order to cast my. Yeah, when when you were scrying on him, you were able to see Ronin. Um, Ronin sensed uh sensed he was being scried on, and then just allowed it. But you also see him like quickly adjusting his pants the minute you scried on him, <laughs> <laughs> like in a hurried manner. <laughs> yeah, and then he, yeah, he's standing like right next to a to a really like big fat palm tree. So, yeah, you guys were. Uh, able to uh, find him and uh, target a tree. And yep, we are now going to be in Exoria. Hey! Exoria. Seventh level and sixth level spells, it's like that. Land of the eggs. Lands of the egg, yeah. Has the map loaded, guys? Not yet. Two thirds. No. Goes to show, like it's one big map, but at least now it's not crowded. <laughs> well, it is. It is crowded in story, but I'm not going to put a bazillion tokens just to illustrate that. Bazillion tokens. Because I will cry. 
Uh, tell me when the map's loaded. It's almost there. Alright. That's, uh... That is, uh... Going to be... I refresh. I refresh, and I regret my choices. <laughs> I refreshed. What do you mean? I refreshed, and I regret my choices. Oh my god! <laughs> Same. Anyway, I will describe to you guys what Exoria looks like for for those who are not in the know. Exoria is a desert nation. Mostly, its basis is on Egypt, ancient ancient Egypt specifically, but you know more fantasy oriented and um, even though the map shows like a pyramid in the middle of the a desert it's not really like it's not really the case like the pyramid is the but it's like in the middle of a city jud wayne the yeah. it's not yeah there are buildings so, around yeah there are other like fancy majestic buildings surrounding the pyramid so uh and and there's uh, there's one palm tree that is like big enough for you guys to like use as a doorway and um uh, yeah uh there if you, for those whose map uh has loaded i will uh put your tokens here i'm here nice uh you are the first to pop out of the tree and yes you Do see, I just pop out and land like a superhero land. Well, it's like it's more like a door, so you didn't have to like jump uh, land. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. You can still do so if you want to, though. <laughs> you can do so. Yeah, you can like. <laughs> yeah, I go to the tree, mamba ko, and then my superhero land. Yeah, you know, like be extra. <laughs> In our point of view, it looks silly because you're just going through a door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like going through a door, but you do a superhero landing anyway when you pass through the door. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, you guys uh, uh, meet Ronin, who's uh, standing a foot away from the tree. And he is surrounded by Anusad. Um, there are a few guards that also accompany him. Uh, they're not that important to have a token so they're just there because uh as precaution though and then so yeah ronin is here and uh he is uh he looks a bit different now from uh from the last time you saw him like a year ago he is uh instead of wearing like you know like one of those uh uh those royalty na clothes and stuff, you know, like he was wearing like an all white na majestic outfit. This time he wears like a purple trench coat that seems to be created out of like dragon scales. And he has, you know, his orange hair is now like cut a lot shorter. And um, he, he's still wearing like a similar set of like sunglasses. And yeah, he uh when you guys are all outside the tree, he approaches you guys and he tells you Oh so I take it it is uh you guys who uh messaged me. Uh welcome all of you to Exoria. And uh tell me uh why why are you all here and uh why would you uh approach me? We're on vacation. No, Taryn is under trouble. Shit has come loose. Yeah. I really need your help. Is this... Does this have something to do with that massive wave of energy that everyone has felt? Yes. Yes. Uh, a powerful person Sorry. came and arrived uh, there. Uh, th yes. They stole Vigil Singh, but but the thing's fine now. They're okay. Just a little icky. Yeah, it be dying. Okay, Ronin is confused. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Let the dumb fucks explain, please. Um, Big bad guy went 
arrived here. <laughs> really powerful energy. Got vigils, baby. Baby dying. We need your help. You want me to help with baby and then Gorata? I mean, trying to first. No, the Gorata. big bad guy. No, Just we 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 need uh, to uh, find the book of death. The the book of what was it? Book of Vitress. The, the god. The god. Book of, of Vitress. And <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> On the dying god, we need it. The the dead of the the god of the dead, we need it. And then, when when you guys mention it, uh, he he was like, "How do you?" Okay, that's what the I bad guy I... said. Bad guy said he cannot die because his name's not in the book of Vitress. Yeah, Vitress might not be the correct name, but yes. All right, all right. Oh, Vitro, sorry, Fira. <laughs> what Fira said. I, I feel like we have to uh, take this up with uh, with Faro Sayed. He will hear you out, and then Faro said yeah, what? <laughs> Faro Sayed, Sayed, not what, said. What is he, Sayed? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> this is the number we're talking. <laughs> Please let go. You gotta we can, wish we cannot. For that. Thank you. We cannot hear you, Link. Link, we can't hear you. Oh, he's back. He's back. Link, oh, no. Link's back. You're muted. Okay. Okay, guys. So, so he will um. He will direct you guys. I also forgot that the mayor is right here, but um, yeah, she will choose not to say anything and watch you guys explain to him. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> eventually she, uh, yeah, eventually she's had enough and she's like, uh, I've been saying for quite a while now that I would probably explain everything. Uh, yeah. perfect. Okay. perfect, 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 yeah. perfect. Thank you. Because, Jesus Christ, no one could hear me the whole time, did I? So, yeah. unfortunate. We were waiting for you to talk. We were waiting for you to save them, and we yeah. thought that that you just Thanks. abandoned them. <laughs> After you were in the you wanted to see how it'll like roll out. It's okay, we got the sage jokes. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did Lincoln disconnect well, again? Oh. How come you guys don't know what happened? <laughs> they're stressed okay like the island is in shambles it's a war zone they yeah so anyway you we are going to go now to the uh to the throne room yay after how many months we haven't been there we well, haven't been there at all <laughs> yeah technically oh wait this is wrong this is the war room That's yeah the war this room. is the war room we be. killed people in there. Yeah, people have died there. Yeah. Yeah. And they haven't cleaned it until now. No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Disgusting. No. Oh my god. No. No, it was clean, of course. <laughs> no upkeep. There's no upkeep in this castle. They all died. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Oh. No, while you're walking there, you know, just the soldiers of like the corpses of soldiers just littered in the palace. <laughs> oh, gross. But that's not true. It's all clean now. And you're all here. Uh, I will bring out. Um... Okay, so Farouk Sayyid is the, for those who are 
uh, not in the know, Pharaoh Said is the uh, ruler of Exoria, and he's a black dragonborn. And I personally, I'm not sure if uh, if he is like a hot dude or or if he's not, but it'll be up to you, I guess. Uh, how you find black dragonborns? So, uh, yeah. Um, Pharaoh Said receives you guys in the throne room. And the other guy beside him is his uh, brother, Hakbi, um, one of the high priests. And uh, Said tells you, uh, so, uh, Master Ronin over here has uh, oriented me about your presence, Overshadow. I am slightly concerned over hosting a bunch of bounty hunters who are wanted for a bunch of crimes and a bunch of murders, but I hear this is urgent, so... Uh, if you would please relate to me uh, what exactly you want from me. You said you wanted the Book of Vitro, which you all assume I know is wh where it is. Yeah, the... The, the Mayor, Magister, and Mag... Uh, the 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 MMMMMs they said that uh, you have it the the book of the dead and why exactly do you need the book of because vitro because there's a there's a bad guy in on in Skullgulagri Island right now that's immortal because their name is not in the book of vitro and then when you say that, uh, Saeed is just like, like he, he hears you, but in the back of his mind, he's like, uh, you know, he's, he's really annoyed. And then he says, oh, wonderful. If I had a gold piece for all the people I've met this year whose names were gone from the book of Vitro, I'd have two gold pieces. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that this has happened twice. And then... Hey, you're happy um, you were able to say that? Yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> I am. It's right there on my notes. <laughs> then... Uh, High Priest Hackby tells you guys that... To remove the name successfully... I believe you'll need to know the birth name of the creature. And I highly... Are you sure that... This bad guy's name is truly Golgotha. Uh, now that oh, I think about it, why would a parent ever name their child Golgotha? Yeah, it's such a shitty name. That's kind of <laughs> weird. Like, if my name was Golgotha, I'd why? snap my neck. Why couldn't it be like Brian or? I wouldn't look at a guy named Golgotha and think that they had loving parents. Honestly, right? Like. Yeah, that is true. It's really abusive if you name them Golgotha. Yeah. Well, maybe that's anyway, why he's a bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. There are geek and hatred for the world. Shall um, don't you have like uh, history books for all the bad magical creatures that should be in the name of, in the book of Vitro? And then uh, the mayor explains. Actually, the Book of Vitro, it contains the names of everyone who's mortal and is meant to die. Oh. So, if That's his name's too. not there, we'll, we'll never know, like, his name. And based on what uh, Homer has shared with me, um, well, what Rebecca indirectly shared was that uh, the one person who defeated him, like, made sure to erase his name throughout every historical record, so we might not even... Oh, wait. The one person who knows his name is the champion of Vida, Lunali. But the thing is, she's dead for, for, for centuries now. Nice. But don't worry. I know of a way we could speak with her. I am a necromancer after all, and well, there's a ritual we could do to make contact with her. But I'll need you guys to help me. And uh, Farah, if you'll allow me, you know, like, 
the means to carry out this and then say it's like very well but you still have to explain to me what exactly we're combating and then the mayor just like tells him explains to him everything and then he understands now the, how dire the situation is it's like very well i will allow you to uh carry out this ritual so that we can uh let you have access to the book of vitro and then ronin raises his hand and tells you perhaps i could also help we can all go to the golden temple and do the ritual there in case something goes wrong at least we have a lot of weapons nearby that the clerics can use to fix the problem shall we all go now or would you like to okay take a long rest or something simon goes no let's proceed simon goes in front of the pharaoh and like tries to like tips his hat and say thank you your glorious majestiousness and then on the way out he uh, was I to say, though, um we can take a long rest then that would be ideal for me to get my power back because ah. right now i'm a seventh level and six level spell slot under what are okay. six and seven level spell slots that is true but i also i feel like vigil there's a sense of urgency for vigil like for every as i mentioned for every hour a month passes for baby oh, I say that, yeah yeah oh that means but at the same time if we need to go back to the Feywild, wild i can only do it once before i can't do it anymore how about how about this we do this uh the mayor the mayor tells you how about this um homer uh you help me with this ritual now and when we're done preparing all we need to before we can return to skullduggery island we'll have a long rest and then we'll be so we can be fully so we can have one efficient long rest before all of this all right sounds like a plan all right and then yep you now are gonna go and head to the Golden Temple of Exoria. Is Vendetta now, is... want to do something with Glenn? Oh yeah, do you wanna do something, Amika? No, I just wanted to hold hands with the Emperor, with a say, with a Sayyid dude. You wanna hold hands with them? Okay, uh, like, sure, wait, let's what? go back. Let's no, 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 towards, towards, like, the bower walking to the thing. Like my hold hands like me, and like skip I don't think the towards the shit. I don't think the pharaoh's going. Think... Yeah, I don't oh, think the pharaoh's going. Oh, yeah, so Ronin's good, good. the one leading you to the temple. So yeah, uh, holding hands on me, linear Ronin. Oh wow. Okay. Actually, Ronin, Ronin will <laughs> will allow that. <laughs> <laughs> Simon sees it, and then he Simon holds hands holds hands with Vigil. <laughs> <laughs> and Sa- we landed those really sick shots before. <laughs> we had a connection. Sa- nice. Simon. <laughs> Simon whispers, "Wait, we're doing this ritual thing. Uh, it's like we're t- like we're gonna talk to ghosts and stuff." <laughs> oh fuck that! And uh, Simon's gonna stay very very far away from the ritual. <laughs> <laughs> while you guys are like um walking to the temple um the reason vendetta that ronin uh like allows you to like hold his hand he actually like i know he he, he, he while you're holding his hand he tells you i actually uh has been meaning to ask you vendetta uh actually are you are you there vendetta yes <laughs> yeah actually i've been meaning to say this but uh you know, I've heard of what you all have done uh, during during the the whole thing last year. You know, like it was a big celebration in the Church of Rico when you when you murdered the ugly bastard Zix Grimjail. Like we all love that, and uh, <laughs> just want to say I'm a really huge fan. You know, like uh, thanks. Yeah, you know, I I personally it was my goal to kill him because I thought it would get Rico Bishop's attention, but you did it before I did, but I don't care. Like I'm more happy that he was murdered. So Yeah. Rico yeah. is pretty cool. How how do you know? 
Because we, I met him. He gave me intel. He did what? Did, oh, sorry. Was it Rico ba that I met? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but yeah. Ronan is surprised oh. at the fact that like you yeah, also like, met Very Rico. casually, I just said, yeah. I actually went to his temple and oh and met with all his like priests and bishops. It was really nice there. You'd love it there. But we'll continue. We're, we're continue doing the skipping huh, in this GIF. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was skipping along actually but then when you just casually revealed all that he stopped skipping a bit and then his mind was like blown <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's wrong oh uh, no 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 i i apologize i i was hoping i could also do that one day <laughs> sure I'll, 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 I'll let him know when i see him next time oh yeah all right okay <laughs> as if, as if, not a phone number near <laughs> One of the one of the few times Ronan feels inadequate as a person. <laughs> Ro Ronan's like, shit. Is Rico thinking of other potential champions? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the start now. <laughs> uh, and then um. While you're also on the way, uh, the mayor explains to you guys that when I do this ritual, I'll be using um, I'll be using the gray border as a jumping point to reach out to the champion of Vida to like uh, talk to her. But while that's happening, a few spirits might also pass by and notice what's going on and. I need you all to basically defend yourselves against these ghosts and also defend me. Yes, defend me because I'll be busy focusing on creating a connection, establishing a connection. So, so I can't like, I have to focus my, you know, my energy. So, so please like, Oh, and I should also tell you the spirits that are coming, some of them might be spirits that are familiar to you. They might sense that you're near the ritual and they will appear before you. So if you have any dead enemies or any dead loved ones or any like crazy dead exes that appear as ghosts, just don't be alarmed and just fight them off, you know? Oh my god. Yeah. Sure. If You've all probably killed bil a million, many people as bounty hunters. So, like, just try not to like be surprised if you see a bunch of angry ghosts coming at you. Gotcha. Yeah. That's why. And then uh, you arrive at the temple, and you see um, Ronan speaking with the head priest uh, regarding um, that they'll need to borrow the the basement of the temple to perform this ritual so you guys head to the basement which i'll change the map again the basement is right here wow yeah and uh so here's the basement they still haven't cleaned up the statue that was um, corrupted and crying tears of blood, so it's gonna be right there. And so yeah, uh, yeah, uh, everyone, um, you can be positioned here. I think here. This looks like <clears throat> a battleground. It is. <laughs> we're no. we're up. We're about to fight. Yeah, you guys are gonna be fighting a bunch of ghosts, a bunch of angry ghosts. But you know, it's... Yesterday session. Yeah, I was like, if Wayne's doing a Halloween episode, I should do. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh. Wait, but it's Wait, not gonna be, it's not gonna be uploaded on the same... Unfortunately. Oh shit! That's true. That's true. That's true. Um, it's okay. Who cares? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It can so, be. It can be Halloween, it, in our yeah. hearts. In our hearts, yeah. And for the viewers, this is a Halloween episode because this is happening in October. 
23. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, so keep that in your headspace as you're watching this episode, <laughs> which I just told you now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Valak and Magister will also help you guys. So I just want to point out, guys, that two of your Warlock patrons are literally accompanying you guys in this mission. And, uh-huh. you know, just like... When does that happen every session, you know? Like, two patrons just... Literally never. Yeah. Just chilling with you guys. See Valak and Magister. Chilling. So, they'll help you guys. And Ronan will help you guys too. Because I have my character sheet on. <laughs> okay. Hi. So, arrange... Um, we'll, say, we'll say you guys are here. Here. Okay. Uh, Simon's gonna so Ronan, be as far away as he can, as he possibly okay. can. Where, where is that? You can be in the entrance. You can be right here. Ah, okay. Yeah. His knees are like, you know, shaking. <laughs> so, Ronan, uh, Ronan warns the out page is also there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are afraid of ghosts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, Ronan tells you guys that <laughs> Simon <laughs> and Peach are, are scared. Uh, Ronan's like, it's okay, guys. Do not be scared. Um, actually, I never fought ghosts before, so I actually don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I should be scared. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very reassuring, but sure. I'm, I apologize, but I was just... Uh, anyway, this oh, whole wow. basement here, it's hallowed ground. So the ghosts can't escape here. So the best news is they can't, we can't like set loose a bunch of ghosts in the temple. So, but the bad news is we're trapped in this basement with the ghosts and we have to get rid of them. So, shit. <laughs> let us all pray. I tried to bring up morale. Like. Yeah. We're not trapped in there with them. They're trapped in here with us. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. I mean, look at us. We have three people who have guns here. Like, we're perfectly okay. Yeah. Holy shit. And, and then... And then, uh... Ryan's like, anyway, uh... M- Mayor, please, if you could start the ritual. And then... Uh... Mayor's like, all right, guys. Remember, guys, do not be afraid. This is for a good cause. Do not be afraid. Be frightened. (laughs) Do not be afraid. Just shit your pants collectively. (laughs) (laughs) Did I just hear a fuck? No, like, the mayor's like, don't be scared when the ghosts show up. Don't be afraid. Just shit your pants collectively. (laughs) Wait, is the mayor the bad guy? No, 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 no. She is helping you guys oh. by making contact with the Mayor, champion yeah. of Vita Mayor is pretty, so that you can, pretty goth yeah. mommy. Yeah, oh. so you can talk to her and ask the champion, like, hey, what's Golgotha's real name? So that we can, like, make a weapon that can work in tandem with the, with the uh, no, Book of Vitro. So, yeah. So... So the mayor sits, um, you know, Indian squatting on the floor. And then she Is she that... starts saying, "Huh? What? Okay, it's okay. No, I was gonna make a joke, but okay, continue." Okay, and then she sits down. She starts like chanting, and some arcane languages, and she starts, uh, you know, like uh, you just hear her chanting, and suddenly you just the flames around this basement are flickering now, and you feel like the temperature dropping again. And then some of you guys are actually like hearing whispers in the corner of your ear. You're just oh, like, oh, kill you. <laughs> and then, uh, I actually I'm... watched the haunted series before this. I'm, <laughs> I watched uh, the before. No. <laughs> okay. What were you watching? What were you watching? There's a series in Netflix that, you know, people go to haunted houses for 28 days, so I'm, I'm a bit spooked. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. No, I promise you guys, no, there will there will be any like jump scares or shit. I'm not gonna put any jump scare images, but maybe some spooky noises here and there. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. I love okay. it. Go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would like all of you guys to please, um, each of you, roll a d6, please. Just a d6. No Oof. modifiers. Oh, one. Okay. Oof. Interesting. Five. Five. Oh. Let me just. Uh, so one. How, how how much we shit our pants? <laughs> how much uh, pellets of shit you guys put? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Even that was gross for me. Okay. Uh, okay. So. Uh, so. All right. Oh, I'll roll for the for Ronan and the Magister as well. Anyone who rolls below three, you die. <laughs> oh, my oh my god! You you die and you go to hell. <laughs> oh wow, they all get two. Nice. Okay. So uh, the temperature just drops, and then I don't know who who here is aware of Silent Hill, but you know, like the mist when the fog yeah. starts showing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just like you just. Like this basement is filled with water, huh? Like the the basement is filled with water, and this what this area that's filled with water, it's um it's foot deep. It's not like really deep, so it's just up to your ankles lang. That's how deep the water is, but it's supposed to be filled with like um holy water. But the thing is, like mist is like forming up because the water is boiling, so. Uh, there's a bit of mist covering, but not to the point that it is, I know, like, uh, not to the point that, like, it's, the visibility is, like, gonna fuck everything up. You guys can still see fine. But, yeah, um, some ghosts start showing up. And, yeah, here's, here's one right here between you guys. <laughs> mm. Uh... And the D6s that you guys roll actually determines how, how many ghosts are, like, near you guys. Mm. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so, so you rolled a one dust bunny, and then for Homer, you rolled five ghosts. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, I want... I want you guys to know that they're not actually ghost ghosts. Um, mechanically, these are... Um, Specters, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So, okay. so yeah. Uh, and then for TJ, you, <laughs> for TJ, you rolled four ghosts. Oh my god! They're still uh, near me. <laughs> they're still near you. They, they're like, what's up? <laughs> what's up? What's up? <laughs> what up? Yo. What's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna <laughs> fuck you over. <laughs> no. uh, okay, in hindsight, um, the, uh, Trandafira and Vigilant, you know, you all just like, <laughs> you have like a fucking cluster of ghosts around you. <laughs> oh, no. Because of the fact that, uh, I don't know, like, <laughs> Vendetta rolled like six <laughs> ghosts. At least we're not yeah. surrounded, you know. Yeah, you guys are surrounded. Yeah. And then, um, Magister and uh, Valak, you guys have. Uh... This yeah, you guys have... Ghosts, man. Yeah. And Ronin, too, but they appear behind them. Holy shit. <sighs> We gotta roll some initiative, guys. Okay, okay let's do in it begin. Let me put that in. Yeah. In it. And I need to pull out Ronan's character sheets. Alright, guys, type in it join. And also the Spectre. Oh, oh my god, wow. Minutes left. Oh. Nice. Oh my god. I rolled another nat one. Oh my god. 
Oh my Why? god. That's okay, two, so... Two ones. Let me just list out... Okay, oh nice. One, they have a 13. Jesus. Nice, Vigil is first, and... Next will be... Dusk Bunny, Vendetta... No, oh, it's Homer. Oh, Homer? Yeah, oh, okay. Homer, Dusk Bunny, Vendetta... Uh, Tej has... Uh, uh, Tej and then Fira. Okay. I know, Tej before me, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, so you go. Then. All right, Raf, what are your dudes' initiatives? My dudes are... Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Uh, who's the last one in the initiative? Oh, no, yeah, you guys listed it. Okay, very good. For me, for my... For my army, they're gonna be the Spectres. The, this is the, the army. Okay, uh, hold on. These are gonna be oh, plus two. Okay. Triggered because the grid doesn't line up with the thing. Yeah, yeah. is this a I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm sorry. Rafi, you can just turn off snap to grid so that uh, we can just eyeball it. Okay. Turn off snap to grid. Hold on. Let me do that. You would have also, to upload the map, yeah. Also, mm. my my army, they're, um, they're five. They rolled low. Well, I rolled low. After that... after you turn off snap to grid, just double click the map again to reload the map. But it uh, shouldn't reload for us. Yeah, it just flashes. It reloaded. Oh. No, it just flashes. And there, great. Well, at nice snap to grid. All right, that'll do. Coolio, coolio. Mogani ang placement suspectors. Yeah. Ah, okay. There. There's a lot. So yeah, guys. Uh, let's let's begin. Army, dude. Uh, uh, top of the round. It is vigil. Um. Yeah. Tell me what you could do. Shit. Um. Vigil shits. <laughs> <laughs> Right I'm looking at my ability list for like anything AOE, but no, I'm kind of fucked. I don't have anything AOE. Shit. So. My AOE has friendly fire, unfortunately. You guys will need to um coordinate, you know? Yeah, seriously. Spectres are dead, those, right? Yeah, they're undead. Ooh. Uh, we don't I have a clue. I, have... I think I have a shit. I think yeah, shit. Just, oh, that's coming out of my ass. Just the one. <laughs> just the one. Can we coordinate or is it like... I just have to make my turn right now. You can uh, one, hold off your action when someone makes something. Yeah, you can ready your action if you like. Uh, if you like. Because I was thinking maybe it's best if AoE has friendly fire. Like, oh, Look at all these ghosts that are like... Neatly grouped up here. Can you pass through them? Um, I don't know. You cannot pass through enemies. Okay. Yeah, but they're ghosts. They're like. Uh, uh up to the DM, I guess. DM. Um, these creatures are specters, and from what I remember, they're incorporeal. Uh. Hmm, 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 hmm. I will say that you want to go through them. Actually, you can pass through them and said, like, they're not inhabiting, like, all of the five spaces. It's just that you're going to have, like, an opportunity of attack if you pass by them. Unless you disengage as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. 
Damn. So yeah. I guess I'll move back and get the ones in between us first. Oh, okay. Uh, and get the one above Homer. Above Homer. You, you can attack him actually from here. And it's a good thing too, because if you move back, these three specters will take opportunity of attack. Yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that. So, so yeah, there. I will attack this one above Homer. Okay. Oh. Make an attack roll. With uh, with your uh, baseball bat, right? Yes. Okay. Oh shit! How do I do this again? Press one. Seventeen to hit. That hits. Noise. Now, uh, hmm. Technically, since it's near Homer, you do have sneak attack. So, roll for sneak attack. Graf, should I try to just end the fight with casting Sunburst on every? Yeah. <laughs> do it. How do I, roll I mean, for you sneak can. Again? Uh, I should try it. It's my yeah. Mom. What are you trying <laughs> to roll, um, Carlo? Exclamation A, and then write uh, sneak attack. Or just sneak. Just sneak. There we go. Okay. Nice. Wow, dude. <sighs> nice. 33. Explode this ghost. So when these ghosts, when the specters appear, one of them was just forming, but Vigil, you strike him down with your um, baseball bat, and its psychic energy just like sends it back to the gray border, and now mm. it's gone. Spawn kill. Yeah. Spawn kill. Spawn kill. And yeah, as a bonus action, you can do something else too. You can cunning action, or you can shoot your pistol at. Oh, bonus the ghost. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Forgot about that. I will. Yeah, I will use crossbow attack. Yeah. Another was... ghost. Yeah, the one right in front of me, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, you'll have to do this with. Oh wait, you can do this as a flat roll because of a uh, gunner, right? So yeah. Yes. Go, roll, roll normally. Yeah. Let's see. That's, That's the... Uh... Oh, pistol. Pistol. What says here have crossbow? Uh, it just say, uh, just choose pistol. Um, exclamation mark A and then write uh. pistol or... Oh, there you go. I'm confused. Nice. My thing here says a uh, crossbow expert. Oh uh, yeah, that's the name of the of the feature. But uh, you're you using also, a pistol. Which you, all, place? you also have okay. gunner. It's fine. You have a lot of feats. Yeah, you have a, lot, have a lot. So you're good. I'm skilled. Yeah. Okay. Nice. This one's a 26, and it got 16 damage. So this one is 16 damage. I'll put this here. There we go. Yeah. That's good. Nice. So, so yeah. Um, you can still use your movement, but remember these three ghosts will retaliate with attack of opportunity. All so, three of them? Yeah, all three of them. Yeah, okay, I'll not do that. Okay. <laughs> so, so you'll end your turn here. Yes, but if I if I had chosen to disengage, they wouldn't be able to. Yeah, they wouldn't have. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So next is Homer's turn. Alrighty. Let's see if I can end this fight with one spell. Let's so, do it. Um, Feather has flyby, so he will fly out of there so that he doesn't get killed. Uh, may as well help Vigil against 16 damage. That's probably gonna die. Alright, and then Homer is going to move downwards here can i move through this specter space or is yeah like you can move as you know as usual like with other creatures you know like they're not occupying fully the five space so there's space for you to go through ah, okay so yeah. five and these two oh, but... opportunity attack me yeah so they will nice. they will they will they will do it and they're not afraid to <laughs> kill you <laughs> 
very brave huh? like you're like I'll sunburst them it's okay <laughs> <laughs> very very bold behavior very bold uh, behavior indeed so they will the first one wow okay they missed so ah. so that's garbage <laughs> that's good <laughs> okay I'll measure how big um, sunburst is going to be. It's gonna be huge, though. Gonna okay. be huge. All right. So that's where it is. And um, so one of them hits a... you. Ah, one of them hits. Okay. Yeah, you get thirteen points of necrotic damage. You see your life force being absorbed by one of the specters, <laughs> and. I would like, points? Okay. yeah. I would like you to do a Constitution saving throw, please. All right, that's not my strong suit. That's con. Sixteen. Okay. Okay, you're good. Very nice. Okay. All right. Okay, and now it's time for the big shit. So, using my eighth level spell slot. Oh my god. Down. Okay, I'm go. I'm gonna be casting Sunburst. Hey! And uh, what do... Sunburst? Ah, okay, it has a material component. So I bring out my staff in order to do that. And as I do that, I raise my staff up high as I can with my old arms. And I say, Feel the light of the shining cabal! And then uh, the tip of my staff starts to light up. And it's so bright, it starts to brighten up the entire room. And this is underground, but it looks like it's being hit by sunlight right now. And then, as you can see, the green area, that's all of the people being affected. So you literally just shot everybody with sunburst. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I think that's a good call, rather than everyone getting hit by individual specters. Okay, okay. Okay. Like that, that was kind of my rationalization as well. It's like, well, it's either this or they're gonna get tons sure. of attacks. All right, so cast sunburst. It's a good thing I'm doing this before someone casts the darkness, because that's yeah. really nice. But I wouldn't have. I would have enlarged first. Uh, cast okay, sunburst. so Ooh, thirty-eight radiant damage. So, okay, everybody except me and Feather has to make a constitution saving throw DC 18. Is this a spell? It is a spell. Yeah. Oh, shit, and even I know Vigil I know, has uh, say, this advantage, I think, because his Gunholy Avenger provides him a... Uh... Oh, nice. I also yeah. have Lucky Stone, whatever that's called. Yeah. Calculate so good the luck. risk. Very, very nice. Very, uh, very coordination. I have to roll not just <laughs> the specters, but also Ronan and, and, and your two warlock patrons. Hey, nice. I'm saved. So yes. I this, dudes. Not okay, 20. So DC is 18, huh, guys? If you're old, oh, no. I will use a wishbone. Nice. nice. <laughs> Fucking A. I'll use a party <laughs> wishbone because this is Homer's fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay, so TJ and um and Dusk Bunny, they both use party which means, okay. We're down to six now. Yeah. Oh every all of the allies passed, dude. Nice. One, two, nice. three, four, five. Cool. Okay, so you take half of thirty-eight radiant damage, which would be uh, 16. No, 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 19. What? Let's take 19, right? And 19. I have that again. I have that as rogues. No, you can't because you. it's not a dexterity. It's dex not save, dexterity. Guys. Yeah. Yeah. 19 damage. Guy. This is the anti rogue spell. Wait, so you can't use Uncanny Dodge for that? No, no you can't. Oh. Uncanny <laughs> Dodge is for attacks, not spells. Half of 38 is indeed 19. 
Yeah, because 19 times 2 is 38, man. Yeah. Sugi, sugi, the math is mathing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Raf is rolling all the saves right now, I think. Sorry, my dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Go Rafi, go Rafi, go Rafi, go. Oh my god, he actually rolled 26d20 in the other server. 26d20. Oh, That's a lot of saves, man. She. Not 26, but 1, 2. That's. Four. This will be funny if no annoying. one gets affected. <laughs> It sounds like a big ass spell, and like everyone's like, "Fuck, dude." Yeah. <laughs> it's just, like, excuse me. Even the specters are annoyed. It's just, yeah. <laughs> fuck, man. It's just a flashback. <laughs> Half annoyed, you know. Was uh, that the sun? <laughs> okay, so uh, two will have uh, nineteen damage. And they'll be okay. So I'll just pick random. I'll pick this guy. And this... Uh, I'll pick this guy, sure. Oh, I better prepare the blinded token, because anyone who failed is bl blinded for one minute as well. Blind. Are you actually flashbang? This is your ally. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. The dark. Molded by it. I did not see the light until I was a man. By then, it was nothing to me but blinding. So <laughs> Jude. Wow, I failed, but. Since I am celestial <laughs> born, I have it still. Nice. That's so right. So I. Ronin. Yeah. Ronan's, uh, he's an angel boy, oh. so. Get deleted, Tony Carlo. We saw it. It's recorded too. <laughs> it's caught on tape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think we didn't see it, but we saw it. <laughs> we saw it. <laughs> okay, guys. So as I'm deleting, let me just describe the scenery. Sure. Uh, that was totally an eighth level spell. But, but basically, you just see... Uh, you just see like this blinding flash of light just like emanating from a point that I know uh that Homer chooses and then uh like there's this flash of brilliant light and it just a wave of light just passes over you guys, all of you. And uh some of you got blinded by it and some weren't, some were able to cover their eyes and some of the specters they all just disintegrate as this like wave of light just shines all over them and they all were like screaming and you know just uh you can see their ghostly skeletons just like burst into white flames and just dissipate so that's what happened that's but what however for those yeah exactly and for some of you who failed the save, though, unfortunately, you guys got blinded by it. Blinded by light. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Well, luckily, and none of them failed, though, so that's good. That's good. Ronan failed, so he's blinded. Oh, no. My boy. Sorry, bro. <laughs> yeah, My least, boy, at Ronan. At least the specter next to him is partially damaged. And also blinded. Oh my god, Wayne. And powerful <laughs> lights. Yeah. I thought Wayne passed. No, no, no. I mean, like, oh my god, what he said, but like his comment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or... 
some people are into that and that's okay we don't shame you know no, we don't that's right no we don't yeah i mean ghost rider is hot you know like literally yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's a skinny legend and uh <laughs> All okay, right. guys. So that was my <laughs> action. Oh, the, Wait, the one that 19? has 16 oh, okay. damage. Uh, is it still alive? Ah, uh, 16 damage? What? Oh, uh, the one, yeah, he's gone. He's dead. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. So he's dead. All right. Uh. <laughs> All right, that was my action. <laughs> was okay, my... guys. Oh, my God. So... Before I, just in case you think you're gonna be blue balled by combat, don't worry, there's more to come, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about this, so yeah. Um, I knew you would do something OP, let's go. Yeah, I was like, I don't want the rest to be blue balled, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, 20 specters die somehow. Yeah. I have plan B. I have plan B. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god. But don't worry, I allowed it to happen, you know. Let Link like do his thing, yeah. you know. That was cool. Good job. It was so, pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> um oh my god. the mist is also slowly subsiding, you know, and like um the mayor is glowing now in a in a flash of like green and purple lights, and you just see like ghostly skulls and other faces just trying to like pop out. But you still see her outline, and you s see her holding like a piece of the tree bark from the ar arboreal, um, from the abrogate arbor. That tree apparently is like her way of like reaching out to like uh, Luna Lee. So suddenly, some of these ghosts appear out again and are surrounding you guys. And this this time, some of these people do look familiar indeed. They look like. Some of the people that you have murdered in bring the out, murdered. Bring out the Jeez. old tokens. Oh, bring out the old tokens. Re bring out the callbacks. Reduce, reuse, yep. recycle. Oh. Yeah. As a DM, I practice sustainability and redundancy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sir. Love that for you. Some of the, these are all... These are all ghosts, by the way, but... Um, oh, this bitch. Yeah. And then Watch some of the these... Filter, anyway. Some of... Oh, no. Guns with nuns. I mean, nuns with guns. What? <laughs> guns with <laughs> nuns. <laughs> like it. <laughs> personified animated guns holding little nuns. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I for what's this guy's name? The guy who like... Wh I, f I hated this guy. Dr. Trench. Dr. Trench. Yeah. We fought him in yeah. the sewers. The first one. Your very first love. <laughs> very first love. Yeah. yeah. The first always cuts the deepest, you know. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh, I wait for Homer right. to do the whole thing again. <laughs> uh, I'm healing Vigil for 12 HP, by the way. So Thank you. And then he also gained four temporary hit points. You know what would be so fucking annoying to me, actually? Like, you guys can actually do this, and then I will cry. You can all <laughs> hold your action and make Homer do Sunburst again. But, like, will you seriously do that and blue ball yourselves? You know, you have a choice here. <laughs> I can't do it again. Just yeah, so he's out of spell like, slots. Oh, hello, no. Okay. Hello, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, too bad. <laughs> Goku just doing two spirit bombs. Give me a spirit again. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> no, um, he, uh, anyway. he needs to sleep. Yeah. He needs to have a break Homer, have a kit cat. Homer needs his uh, uh old old man nap. Yeah. Yeah. Literally I did my mean. big shit and then now I need my old man nap. Wow.
Megumin made an explosion and just yeah, collapses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, from what anime is that again? Konosuba. Yeah. Konosuba. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap. I'm gonna take a nap right here. Good night. <laughs> Yeah, that one. <laughs> Love that one. I'm so tired. What? <laughs> Talking about yesterday. Oh my god. Huh. Fira got tripped. Thrice. <laughs> yeah. Kaluoi. This is one second time. Oh, Cassandra, ghosts, dude, Cassandra. You know? You know, yeah. So, okay, go, guys. Yeah, Bun's the second okay. time fighting fire, go. Just stick go. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's the end of my turn. I moved, I did my action, I did my bonus action. Hey, so go. go. Good turn, dude. <clears throat> Easy turn. Uh, Dust Bunny is shaking and well, was shaking and then poof! Gets blind, he's like, oh fuck! And then he tries to like, he's adjust, his eyes are adjusting now, and then instead of specters, he's seeing, you know, these people. He's like, oh, didn't we kill you before? Didn't we kill you already? And then, and then he mutters his, um, uh, his thing to transform into Dusk Bunny. He says, your wow. darkness consumes your bright and the sunny. Tis now your ah ah frames this bunny. <laughs> yeah, quickly changes into dust bunny. Yeah. Uh, all right. We we must establish that at this point Simon has like an outfit that lets him do that. Okay, like yeah, do his Sailor Moon transformation. Yeah. Oh, I it's... always thought he just threw a smoke bomb on the floor and he just changes it. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's a one piece outfit <laughs> that just yeah, zips yeah. up. Oh no no no! Like underneath his like his like, his like suit. Detective clothes. Yeah, yeah he just rips it. It's like tear away clothes. No. <laughs> a lot of clothes. <laughs> what the hell? His tear away clothes, and he just puts the hood up and the goggles, and then there you go. Oh, just It'd be funnier if his clothes. Whole times. Yeah. It'd be funny if his clothes were like just invertible, like he just wears his clothes inside out. I know, right? <laughs> anyway, so uh, he's dust bunny now, and then shit, he is going to uh, just start shooting, I guess. He's gonna shoot this 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 captain, Captain when he said about before. Yeah, Captain Marion's ghost. Ex ex Captain Marion. Uh, Ooh. And just shoot, I guess. No advantage, but I will attempt to sharpshooter this. A Ooh. Imperator dash B minus five dash D ten. No advantage. <laughs> Boom. Class, classmate down me buns, guys. See Marianne. Marianne the Carlos. <laughs> 21 to hit. 19 Whoa, damage. Okay, 19 damage. And then extra attack. Alright. 12 to hit misses. Uh, extra, extra attack from Dread, Dread Ambusher. Okay. 18 to hit. Uh, he... Oh, sh shit. Uh, this is your third attack, no? Third, yeah. What was your second attack again? 12 uh, to hit. 12 to hit. 12, 12 does not hit. Yeah, Sorry. 18. 18 does not hit either. What? Yepers. Ridiculous. Okay, uh, bonus action. Um, musket of speed. Ooh. Critical! Hey. Let's fucking go. That is the uh, one I will. It hits. That is the one I will use my sneak attack on. So I will do sneak attack twice oh. on that one. Boom and boom. So that's eleven. That's twenty. Twenty-four. And then I will use 
uh, I get to add extra damage on this one as I make her my favorite foe. So, uh, let me do that. Favored foe. That's an additional one damage, unfortunate. Uh, I did favored foe. I did sneak attack. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Really? Is that it? Yeah. Um, yeah, guys. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I did bonus action already. Gonna, okay, sure. And then I have 40 feet of movement. I will move. Uh, hang on. That's 5. 20. Fuck, get opportunity attacks and shit, man. Um, <laughs> um, 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 you guys think you're so funny. Okay, <laughs> I'm wow. Dust Bunny's gonna, gonna drop down here, boom. <laughs> And then inch forward like that, like that, okay. and then drop down here, provoking attack of opportunity from the captain, ex-captain, I mean. Okay, the captain shall attack you with her. Hmm. Oh, this one, okay. She will. He's a different kind of ghost this time. These ghosts are different. Uh -oh. They're vengeful ghosts, so she will do her attack and uh -oh. ah, thirteen does not hit. She tries to use like a force wave of energy at you, but yeah, you were able to duck and as you were moving. So, so yeah. yeah, I duck and then uh, I jump down here, and as I'm falling down, and I I look at her and I'm like ha ha shakara. And then land safely mm -hmm. there. Um, I will end my turn there, but I did deal 52 damage to her. Nice. Hey. So I will end my turn. Nice. We're, we're back to back, you and me, you and Ronan, you know, uh, with our guns. So, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Would you join us? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Nice. 52 damage. She's still there. Uh, as your bullets fire through her, like you see holes through her, like ghostly, like manifestation. And she is mad at you for that. And she, she does one of those like ghostly wails that they do when they're angry. So, sample, yeah. sample, though, sample. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's how our screams, but with some post effects. Yeah, with post effects, with scary <laughs> post effects. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like like one of those uh, from Grave Encounters, the movie. You know, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, next is TJ's turn. Let's go. Let's I will go. Do Let's... My yeah, my attack, guys. Okay. Guess what it is? Definitely won't be the same exact. A booming <laughs> blade. <laughs> With a Lex Talionis mm. blade. Booming blade in the in. Yes. Wow, on 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 Marion. Marion's not getting love today. Or ever. <laughs> never did. <laughs> never, never did. did. <laughs> never did we tortured her and then beheaded her. Yeah. yeah. We had a like a debate whether to kill her or not. Sixteen right will miss, bro. I think. <laughs> right uh Tej, this will miss. You will mm -hmm. need, you'll need a lot of um, wish bones. So yeah. Wait, lang. Okay. Cancel, cancel. I I just I just fart. Okay. <laughs> if you want, you yeah, can move go. away. Cause does Teach have the mobile fit? I th yeah, he does. He does. You can move away without uh, do it with. Without. Even if I do opportunity of attack, I will have disadvantage because you have cloak of displacement. Ah, uh, uh, she also doesn't yeah. have reaction anymore. 
Oh yeah, it's true. Yeah, she yeah, used yeah, it so on can... on Dusk Bunny. Yeah, so uh, did you can move away. Hmm? Good server has cloak of displacement. It's inactive right now because everyone took damage. Oh yeah, it's just yeah. just teacher has the cloak. Yeah. Okay. No, but he can. Oh no. What happened? Uh, Is it just me? Too. Oh no. You're putol putol. You were were foraging. I can hear him from time to time, though, it's like that. Oh no. Okay. Okay, there you are. We can hear you. There. Yeah. Okay. We can hear you. We can hear you. But I won't. <laughs> Some look for trouble. <laughs> <laughs> while others don't. Pineapple. <laughs> anyway, um... Uh, Vendetta, it's your turn now. Okay. Vendetta will cast Darkness first. Um, I, a bonus action, enlarge. That's my shit. Buff. Uh-huh. That's, that's nice. my shit. Mm. Boom. So, uh -huh. Boom. Bonus action, I become large. And I would nice. like to get and that's it nice okay out of turn and none of these ghosts have dark vision so yeah nice and so that's ronan and vigil <laughs> they're like fuck what happened <laughs> it was bright and now it's dark he's <laughs> oh fucking with the lights <laughs> I don't want to borrow Mika's class for next playthrough and just, you know, cosplay Mario. <laughs> I'll say I eat a mushroom when they grow big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's Vendetta's turn. Um, Fira, I'm sure you have Devil's Sight, so I think you can yeah. see. So, yeah. It's your turn now. Fira has Devil's Sight. <laughs> Flashbanged and then smoked. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> the team sucks, dude. <laughs> Bonus action, form of dread. Oh no! Nice, scary, scary, spooky. So you see Trandafira, just multiple arms just erupting from from him. Oh no! And now he's this. Hey, the arms. Ten feet of you, a strength save. Shit! <laughs> Arms of Hadar! Oh my god, why? What's <laughs> there too? <laughs> I have the the strength thingy, right? I think what you have advantage that? on strength, Deba, right? with your thing. Oh, and because I'm large, but I also have that item on the two rough, katong no one actually got and I got it na lang. Oh yeah, the belt of giant strength. Uh, uh... You have a plus five now to your strength checks, and then I think you have advantage. And not only that, this is a spell, so you have advantage. Good. Advantage. Yeah. So do I advantage plus five? <laughs> yeah. No, uh, your plus five is already added. With... I don't know if na add siya though. I, is... I don't know if ako siya na add sa akong inventory. It is. Uh... I added it for you. Ah, okay. Nice. Yep. So I just check strength. Yes. So Space. I get as Ronin. I got zero. Because I rolled not one. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> so Ronin can just fuck off, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh my... Check, right? Strength check. Not save. Yeah. Save or check? I can check, Bart. save. I I was the one who did the check. I'll save it. I'll save. No, it's just, it's the same. I, it's the same. the same. Okay. But I will save strength. Oh my God! It's plus Maybe four. I shall wait. 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 No. I. Oh. Can do oh. not one. Wow! Nice. Just after there were two not ones in a row. Oh my God! What <laughs> the fuck? Simon's like, hey, hey, like now I'm in the dark. No! Yeah. What does that do? 
That's from Bad Bad Bunny. Multiple. <laughs> it's another <laughs> character. Wow. We're in a different so game. <laughs> Actually, the strength save is still the same, so I'll take the nat one because it's funny. So, yeah. How they can't take reactions. Do, can't take reactions. Okay, no reactions. And react. the damage is. We have no reaction. This is so sad. 11. Is that it? But, but he's and then. 11. Oh, I have this because it's necrotic, so. Yeah. On a fail save, target take 2d6 damage and can't take reactions until next turn. Ah. Why is it 3d6? Did you upcast this? Ah, uh, yeah, I think he up. Yeah, 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 he would upcast this. Because he's a warlock. So. Yeah, he has no choice but to upcast it. Yeah. Okay, damage is 11. Da 11 damage taken. So Ronin has 25 damage now because. Look, wait, it comes. Oh, <laughs> just wanted to, he just wanted to help. <laughs> Ravi yeah. only wanted to play his self insert, guys. And he, yeah, and you're just like, um, <laughs> fucking him over. He's, like, okay. He's <laughs> blind, he's in the darkness, he's, he's, he's restrained <laughs> by arms. You know, Jed was gonna help you guys, but he's not here because Ronan's like, no, I'll, I'll help them in your place, don't worry. But he's like, fuck this. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> fuck the overshadow. Yeah, fuck overshadow. <laughs> They're good employees, but not good workers. <laughs> okay, okay, so... Uh, next is the, um, next is Ronin's turn and uh, the Magister and Valak. I'll say that, uh, Magister and Valak are fighting ghosts, but their, uh, tokens are off screen, whatever. They're fighting, you know? Yeah. Uh, you see Valak just using, like, wind to, like, blast at the ghosts, and you see the Magister just, like, firing, like, beams of necrotic energy as well at the ghosts. And poor Ronan over here, <laughs> who's still level eight, by the way. So, Damn. yeah. Oh, what have you done? <laughs> Let's see. What can I do for this poor man? Uh, Why did you level up? No. Sheesh. Uh, oh no! Did Rafi DC again? Yeah, I feel like you're the darkness. This is hilarious, man. This is so funny. The NPC that's <laughs> helping us were just fucking over. It's like, oh, you want to help us? Oh. No, fuck you. We <laughs> screw <laughs> ourselves enough just as it is. He's gonna... Uh, he's gonna try and fire at a disadvantage, you know? <laughs> so... Come on, you win! Oh, you this is just, this this is just is... one disadvantage because you're blinded and smoked at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, this they don't truly, stack. Um... They don't stack. Yeah, they don't stack. Okay. This is truly a Halloween episode for Ronin, you know? It's uh, <laughs> truly a spooky time for him. Jeez. <laughs> so this is with a plus eight. Oh, that's not bad. A 13 plus 8. So he will hit one up. He'll hit the specter. And, um, let's see. How much do I roll with this? Oh, this is with already a plus 5. Okay, this ghost is gone. So, so Ronin helped, you guys. Nice. Good job, Ronin. Nice. Good job, yeah. Ronin. So he was blinded, but, you know, he twirls his gun like an expert and fires it at the specter, whom he remembers was nearby. Great. And then... He will try to... Uh, he remembers that some of the specters are nearby, so he'll stand his ground. You know, I completely forgot. You completely forget. You're ground. gone. You completely forgot your alphabet. <laughs> you completely forgot the English language. Okay, oh, you're blinded by the spell can make another con save at the end of each of it. You completely okay. forgot. Uh, 
boots and try to at- try to attack Homer. Try to attack. Huh? So sorry. What? They, they will attack Homer because ah. Homer is outside the darkness, man. Ah, ah okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, not Ronan, and the the specters are gonna. By the way, dude, Ronan can make a con save for the blind condition. Oh, is that's true, it? right? Yeah. Okay, D twenty plus three. Let me roll that and watch me fail this. I mean, it's not gonna help because you're in the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Okay, I failed. So. Oh my God! What? Uh, Such a shit. Girl. He's just. He's just thinking to himself. Maybe if I remove my sunglasses, it will work. <laughs> no, I think he doesn't realize he's in the darkness because he's still blinded, right? So when yeah, he yeah. gets unblinded, he's like, "Why is it so dark?" <laughs> Did it not what work? Happened? It didn't work. <laughs> he's gonna think that the flash permanently blinded him. <laughs> yeah, <Maybe>. man. <laughs> okay, so so these uh, ghosts have a thing called telekinetic thrust. And Ew! I like how that not, sounds. It's not what you think. Don't oh. worry. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> So this druid ghost star gets a tomer, and since you're medium or smaller, um, you have to do a... have to do a something. Oh my god, what's happening? Your old man's strength. Yeah. Repeat that, Raph. You cut off for a bit. Do a strength check, please. Strength okay. check. Strength check. <laughs> just, just Homer? Strength. Just Homer. Okay. 19. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. And I got 16. Okay, nice. So, uh, what happens is... Hmm. All right, all right. The, the ghost, like, puts its hand towards you and tries to move you, and you were almost floating in the air. But you used your old man's strength to, like, gain purchase and hold on to the floor, and you were able to... Stop whatever telekinetic attack it was gonna do. Oh yeah, old man strength. Yeah, you you can't thrust Homer today. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it! To attack Sarah. Well, what's happening? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just no. uh, you don't want to know. <laughs> Wait, this this this. Person trying to attack Fira can see in the night, no? If I remember correctly. He, he, he can't uh, he can't see in the dark anymore because he's a ghost. And yeah, oh. this will be done with disadvantage. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Loser. He doesn't have his <laughs> he doesn't have his physical eyeballs in life, so you know. Okay, he misses. Um, everyone's gonna try and attack, uh, you guys. Marion will try to attack Teach, though. The rest will try to attack, uh... They'll try to attack you guys, you know, because sharing is scaring. Uh, I'll try... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's a seven. I have to do this seven times. <laughs> Oh, seven times, okay. 2d10, 2d20. Uh, fuck, sorry. 2d20. Okay, this one will miss. Uh, the one that's attacking, the other specter that tries to attack Fira, um, he misses. Uh, the ninja girl that tries to attack Dust Bunny, he will. Shit. Oh, he misses. She misses too. Um, one of them will try to attack Ronin. Because, uh, you know, equal rights, guys. Equal rights. Okay, she misses too. Uh, one of the dragonborns from the Supremacy is going to try and attack Vendetta. With disadvantage, he also fails, and then, uh, 
some of them will attack uh, Vendetta and Vigil. I'll, I'll roll this like. I don't know. We'll see. Huh. They missed two. The one that attacks uh, TJ, though, he will. Uh, she will. Tr that's a flat roll. That will be. Plus four. And Paige, your armor class is, it is 15. So this one hits. So you're going to be uh, blasted telekinetically. And you get, oh wait, no fuck, I rolled, no. Wrong roll, I have to roll for damage. 36 9 okay all right so you guys uh teach only is the one who got damaged out of all of you he gets uh what did he get he got 9 damage 9 force damage Jeez. the rest of you Got nothing. So, hooray to all of you guys. Yeah. Hooray to Vendetta for protecting you guys. <laughs> You're a bunch of losers. <laughs> all right, guys. Hang on, hang on. So, we're now at the top of the round, uh, and it's Vigil's turn again. Um, is this person a threat? Uh, yeah, but the thing is, Vigil, you're in the sphere of darkness, so you'll have to get out to, like, see anything. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. Like, it, it might yeah. be futile to attempt to, like, shoot any of these guys. Well, yeah. I'll help Homer. Mm. Yeah. So I'll go there. Okay. And you can stand also in the water, by the way. It's still, like... And you can stand there, yeah. You can see her just fine from there, yeah. You want right, him to, to wet his... Leather boots made from can shoot her in the face. I, mean, I can take it out temporarily just so to stand on the water <laughs> and put it in my backpack. You're gonna beat her with uh, your baseball bat, of course. Nice. Oh, 26 hits, and that's a 9. And since Homer's nearby, you have sneak attack as well. Nice. Yeah, bro. X A space sneak, yeah. Oh my god. 23 plus 9. Wow. Oh. 23 plus Not 9 there. is 76. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 32. <laughs> it's 32. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is she dead? No, she's not. No, she will be. I'm gonna attack her with the pistol as well. Yes, oh. sir. <laughs> oh, by the way, you can add. Um, you can spend one charge to add an additional two D ten. By the way, charge. Just so you know. Yeah, charge. So you add ten that charges. Okay. Yeah, you have ten. Uh, yeah, charges. it has ten charges. So you can use one charge to add a two D ten to this bullet attack. Yeah. You just need to remember to charge it at night with a fast charging USB C. Uh, yeah, I was gonna ask that as well. What the fuck does it use? I will use one charge. Okay. So roll. Um. Uh, just press uh, exclamation point R and then two D ten. Does Does my pistol also have sneak? No. You, you can, can sneak only attack sneak attack once. once per turn. Okay. Yeah. Once per attack, I mean, in a turn. So, yeah. Nice. So, this is a 9 plus 15. That is 24. 24. Nice, nice, nice. So, that is 56. If I've not, if my math is correct. So, there. There we go. She's still alive though, so what? yeah. 
these are ghosts, guys. So, yeah. And you're high level now, so nice. you gotta... Yeah. You don't know, maybe Homer will one-shot them again. <laughs> <laughs> just, just include me this time. <laughs> no! Okay, um, Homer... Oh, oh, wait, is that your move, Vigil? I think that's everything I can do, yeah. Okay, okay. And then Vigil now, I mean, Homer, it's your turn now. Homer. Homer. Homer Simpson. Homer. Homer. Homer with the gray lips. The silver. Homer Balagtas. The silver lips. Homer. Homer Gervais. <laughs> Look at this. Look. Uh, okay, Tej. Tej has to go now. Okay, bye, Tej. Tej. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. GG. I'll say. I'll say that. Uh, I'll say that. I'll pi I can pilot. Uh, Tej said for a while. Said so. Yeah. So there we go. Homer. <laughs> It's nine away. I was in a corner. She Lincoln came out of George. I know, right? Oh Sige my lang. god, my dogs. Uh, well, well, oh, hello, hello, Omar. Hello, Link. Hamea. We can't hear you. Hello, how about that? hello? Yeah, we can hear you now. We, oui. oui. yeah, all right. Um, oui. you want to take this last turn before you go? Yeah, yeah, because it's already okay. nice. One more, more spirit bomb before you officially collapse, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be nice to leave conjure animals, but then Rafi would have even more shit to take care of. So instead, I'm going to be casting, oh, before I cast, move away for opportunity attack. Okay, uh, she'll take it. I want to go on. Uh, yeah, I mean, go ahead and do that, and then oh. while you're doing the attack, I'm going to cast Enlarge on Vigil, because he's the only dude I can see. Nice. Enlarge. And wow. I got you, by the way. You're, uh, I rolled a 20. Yep, I'll hit. Wow, well, his big okay. boots are gonna get wet. <laughs> <laughs> You got 11 points of damage. 11 points, so that brings me to 24 damage. Okay. okay. Homer's now concentrating. Uh, not yet. I did ah. this on purpose so that uh, I'll concentrate after getting it. Yeah. Alright, that's enlarge slash reduce. Okay, so you have been enlarged. So, oh, I'll put a concentration on myself. Okay, so concentrating on that, and then... This is a bonus action, I'm gonna heal him some more, so... Nice. 3d6s, because this is gonna be my last turn anyway. 3d6. Mm. Or, oh my god, I should have used more. That's sad. Right. Three. Sad. And then, yeah, that is so sad. Too. Unfortunate. Um, keep the four temporary HP, dude, because replacing it with three is not a good idea. Okay. Right? And then well, sorry, that I, is. They stopped for what happened. No, it's okay, dude. Don't worry. You became mm -hmm. big. Thanks. You got All big. Right. Mm. And then Feather, he's going to move here. 5, 10, 15, 20. Give a help action to Vigil. Nice. And get out of there. Homer's using oh. a Feather in, uh, to help the big Vigil. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> mm. Right. And... That's the end of my turn. There we go. And then right, I'll have to hop off, dudes. Yeah, bye. Jeez. You don't we'll, need we'll to jump. A bye, okay. a bye. We'll see a spec. Mm. Appears behind Link. Behind home. <gasps> oh 
Oh no! Not behind Link. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say Link will become the specter. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, a specter appeared and kept him preoccupied, you know. <laughs> ah, okay, that makes sense. That makes yeah. Sense. Cool. <laughs> All right. Bye, dudes. GG one point. Okay, guys. Next is Dust Bunny's turn. The Dust Bunny. Uh, after being choked by one of the arms. <laughs> uh. <coughs> Now has Oops, reaction sorry. back. There are all these fucking pieces of shit around. Um, you see? Uh, of course, this bunny can see. Yes. He just calls you a, f a fucking piece of shit, mom. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, this bunny is kaloy aning ronin eh? <laughs> but, oh my god, don't hit me! <laughs> no, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, he'll hit the 19 dam- No, no, he should target the the big- He's gonna target- <coughs> Shit. <coughs> That's you. He's gonna target- Uh, the ninja girl. Na lang. <clears throat> Here you go. Okay, cool. Uh, exclamation mark Imperator Advantage Sharpshooter Minus 5 1d 10 Boom First attack 23 to hit 22 damage Nice that hits <clears throat> Extra attack 21 to hit 23 damage That hits too Bonus action, musket of speed. Ch -ch -poof. 27 to hit, 28 damage. Oh my god, yes, that hits. They all hit. <laughs> yes. Uh, sneak attack. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait. <clears throat> yeah, you got sneak attack because Roman is next to you. I, cause also because I had advantage. Next to the... Yeah. 13 extra damage. I am going to favored foe her. A favored uh, three. Is that is that all? Twenty two plus twenty three plus twenty eight plus thirteen plus three. Hang on, hang on. Let me let me use my big brain. I am definitely not using a calculator. No. Uh, plus three There's plus no three. shame in admitting. <laughs> Eighty nine damage, DM. Okay, so you overkilled her. <laughs> um, how do you banish her back to when she came? I like to imagine while the arms of uh, Hadar Hadar are like choking this bunny, he's just panicking. So he's like, ah, boo, boo, boo. and then maybe the ninja was about to jump on this bunny, but while she's in the air, she just gets decimated, and then. Uh, she falls onto the ground in front of him uh, in pieces. Yeah. Yes, and her spirit has returned back to the far reaches of the Great Border. Yeah. And then this bunny's gonna turn around. Fira, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then... Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Intern, intern warlock, intern warlock, <laughs> intern warlock. Uh, Dust Bunny is gonna travel. Uh, he's gonna travel this way. There, provoking attack of opportunity uh, from this druid if he is gonna do it. True. It will be with disadvantage. Let me see if, if I can get a hit. Mm -hmm. This one is with a plus four. No, this one does not hit. Plus four? Ah, disadvantage. So, right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this one is going to move there. She did action to attacks, bonus action. That's Movement. it. Uh, he'll okay. end his turn there at the edge of the darkness. 
Nice. Okay. Or he's not scared uh, because, well, actually, he still would because he still sees the ghost. So yeah, he's shaking. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Next is Tiege, Tiege's turn, and since I'm piloting him, I'm looking at his stuff. He... Ah. Hmm. Why not? Okay. I Tiege will um, hide from... Uh, he will move and try to hide in the dark. He will provoke opportunity of attack from Marion. Uh... But then Tej will cast shield to raise his thingy to an uh, AC to 20. So let's see if it hits. Oh shit. No. I didn't even have to do shield. Okay. But whatever. <laughs> so he will hide. Uh, what is this stuff? I'm sure it's like plus 14. Yeah. <sighs> Do I need to even roll for stuff at this point? I'll just roll, you know? Let's see how high I can roll. <laughs> uh, let's see. You consider nine. rolls mm -hmm. nine uh, oh. lower than 10 still a 10? Yeah, so this is a 24, so... Wow. He hides, and then he comes out of hiding, and with advantage, he will stab her. Yes. And since blade. I'm not going, yeah, hand booming blade. Stabby stab. Stabby stabby. Dongaba. <laughs> Dongaba. <laughs> oh shit, this is with plus 10. Oh my god. Oh my god. Relax. ADV. Oh, oh yeah, no? ADV. I'll roll again. <coughs> I'll roll. Why with ADV? He was he came out of hiding, man. Uh, yeah. an I was head in. Okay, so 19. 19 doesn't hit, but I will Bitch. have Tiege use a wishbone. Oh, wait, no, I'm the DM. I can't do that. But then. <laughs> but then, ah. Uh, it'd be nice if this one is dead right now. Tiege will but use you can a wishbone. Ask the team. Yeah, Tej might use a wishbone. We yeah. will we will volunteer a party wishbone. Okay, there we go. Very nice. Okay, <laughs> there. Very nice. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. And now I will roll for his attack, which is I have it here. This thingy is. Can he cast booming blade even with reaction? He can cast it, no? Yes. Yeah, he can. He can. He can. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so my the Lex Talionis blade. This is with D4 plus six plus five. Okay, roll one D6 plus one D4 plus five. Sneak attack. Okay, that is nine, and that's with sneak attack, which is. Oh, 8d6? Yes. I, mm -hmm. I'll roll it. I'll roll it, DM. Okay, thank you. Uh, can you also roll Booming Blade? Yes, because I think I can just do this. And it should show up. Does it show up? It does in SNS it Dice does nice. Tray. <clears throat> and then Booming Blade, I just roll that. And it shows up there also. Boom. Oh, what the 34. fuck? 34 plus 12 is 46 plus 9? Yeah. 46 plus 9 is 50, no, 65. She's dead. <laughs> she is dead. Yeah. His rapier starts glowing with thunderous energy. And he uh, stabs her in the stomach and she dissipates. Uh, her physical 54. form is gone. And... He just sad because he has nothing to teabag on. So, <laughs> no, that's what you teabag. The the, no. the the dead body. The, oh, because it's the corpse, right. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. It's a chaos. Tragedy. 
Unfortunately. And then he will move out here because he's still scared of ghosts. <laughs> yeah. And uh, next is Vendetta's turn. So Mika, it's your turn. Bindita. Be Agua Bindita. Agua Bindita. <laughs> <laughs> Agua bendita Santos. I shit. I was muted the whole time. I was. I have a question. If yeah. um, mag booming. Well, sorry, mag green flame blade ko. Is that my action already, or can I take my extra attack? Yeah, it's it's an actual action to cast that spell. Yeah, because so, you are not yeah. a blade singer. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, blade singer. <laughs> so wala, delay ko ka green flame blade that you can yeah, yeah. but you won't be able to extra attack or like pole arm the the ex, you know your pole uh, arm combo I don't want yeah. that man I will attack regular this uh, masked man there yeah. are two of them not the ninja one just the one to Tapat sa nun. Mm. The nuns with guns. Yeah. The, the gun with the, the nun. <laughs> Critical! Critical! Oh, this dude. Oh, what is that? Like a mask? Ba? Like a... Like a... Gas extra, mask. Extra COVID Gas mask. mask. Oh. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> that Gas one. Mask. Yeah. Fang. 27 <laughs> damage. 27 damage. And then Does it kill I it? will... What? Does it kill it, DM? Wait a minute. Uh, this is poison damage, right? Yeah, and it it be wounded. Uh, this is the thing, then that the ghosts have no okay. bodies. Ah. They're immune. <coughs> oh, that's right. Magic. You know. <clears throat> so twenty-seven minus six is twenty-one damage. What's the minus six? Oh, wait, wait, wait. About? No, the magical huh? poison is just two d four dm. The other one is magical slashing. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay, yeah. Okay. So it's twenty one damage. But I have damage. a plus six though. That's magical yeah, slashing. Yeah, large. Oh huh? yeah, yeah. That oh, you mean... roll that. You roll that. Yeah. Oh, do we you roll that? It's plus six. No, it's it's additional nang plus six. The fact that I know because she's a giant now, so so it's still twenty seven damage. Ah, so I don't have to roll the d six because I'm large. On some hundred, yeah. Is it? I thought my d six. Oh wait, I thought, no. I thought my plus six was because of my. Ah uh, yeah, it's part of your strength. Point. Yeah, I got confused. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah that's part of the strength, I, and then. Yeah, and the 2d4 is the wounding magical poison. Or yeah. You hurt. roll 1d6. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, just roll a 1d6. Yeah. Oh, it's highest, but good. Okay, so 21. 21 points of... Oh, wait, no. No, tw- 27. 15. 27, thank you. So Ma- either way, it's magic, still 27. Yeah. Magical slashing. Yeah. yeah, there we go. That's on the first attack, no? Yeah. Yeah. So and go. then second attack Ad- advantage <laughs> how to add the d6 the un uh minus um, b6 no no, no. space ma- space that uh, da- dash shit shit no I'll, I'll type it i'll type it dash d 1d6 1d6 right like that yeah <clears throat> okay Critical! Oh, Critical! Hey, Wait, hey, this hey, is hey, hey. Oh my god, what the fuck? Simultaneously, bitch. 2d10. <laughs> it actually doesn't add the the 1d6 that we typed for some reason. Lucky, I don't know. So, no, Maybe but... Maybe will I d? Maybe will I d, love? Maybe no. B six credits. No, so. B is bonus, as in to your to hit man. Yeah, but like nag add man kag D. Just add, just add it lang to ano uh, because it's, it's two D six because you yeah. you double it critical. So yeah, 2D6. I didn't two D six the other one. Yeah, yeah. Can you just roll three D six lang just so ano? Uh, oh, we'll add the other one. I yeah, forgot the previous it. one was also a crit. 
Yeah. No, no, no. Exclamation mark R. R space three uh. basically. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Ms. So wait, this is wait, so wait. Crazy. So twenty-one minus four because the four is poison is seventeen plus nine is twenty-six slashing. Twenty-six plus plus twenty-seven is fifty-three. Twenty-six plus twenty-seven, fifty-three. Yes, total. Mm. Wow. Okay. Are they still alive? Yeah, but they're halfway there, through there. Halfway. Yeah. My my dogs. You can. Sort you still. Halfway. You still have, you have tail. Bonus my bonus action. Yeah. I can't move. I like game of crit suddenly again. My I'll dogs. <laughs> my dogs. Tail no advent tail. Yeah, ADV. Yeah. Crit na sa naron. Makrit na sa naron. Makrit na ina oye, mana oye. Mana to ako ang streak. Seven Sige magical lang. bludgeoning. Does that uh, hit? Eighteen. This one, this one doesn't hit. Oh shit! Uh, But okay. here's the thing: since you critted twice in a row, and I don't think has that ever happened before. No, I don't think so. That's so cool. I wanna. I just wanna make a char thing happen because two crits Ooh. in a row, like Aww. so. Yeah. So you try to strike at this uh, ghost, okay? And uh, you know this ghost was like trying to face through and like dodging your attacks, but uh, Vendetta for a split second, as if like a glitch in reality, you notice like Rico Bishop briefly appear and guide your hand while you're striking your glaive at the monster, <laughs> and then nice. he disappears. <laughs> Nice. Ronin yeah. wish that happened to him. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Ronin's like, who was that? I think I saw. It. No, he couldn't even see. <laughs> I don't let him know. <laughs> He's still. No, I still was. Know. Oh, I saw. Ro... I saw Rico again. Did you? See... <laughs> I'll be like, what the mess? <laughs> He'll throw his gun and like unalive himself. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> And um, the ghost disappears because that was pretty cool. This mask, dude. Twice, All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would like to move. I mean, maybe yeah, you, not. You might okay. want to move. Para para vigil can have something to hit Sud when he attack. Ends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, or I could just turn off my darkness. Would that help? No, I move. Just move long. Just move. It's keep us, keep us in the better. darkness. Yeah. More people uh, fighting us than us fighting them. Yeah. Uh, uh, and remember the polter guys when it was their turn, they all missed because of your darkness. So do not turn it off long. Just go, keep it on. Just move away long. Go, yeah, I'll be. Go northwest. You can. Yeah. I'll be here in the long. Okay. Move I'll your, be there. Okay. Pass through the square stone. Yeah. Can I move there? Uh? Yeah, yeah, you can. And then I will action surge. Ooh. Oh shit! <laughs> I will action surge. I will attack the one in the middle. I uh, maybe the one along the druid na lang. Look at this Ronin. Yeah, makaba tuh kay I'm large. I'm a big bitch. Uh, large it's size. A, it's Let's a pole. Go. It's a pole arm. Yeah. Really? ADV. How scary like, it would be if I had a glaive. Yeah, get enlarged by Jutko. Like Cassandra. Mm, nice. This one's thirty. So wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Oh. Minus four is twelve. Yeah. My God. Do I roll the d6 also? Yes, please. That one, and then this is p- towards the 15, druid. Huh? The druid ghost. So that's fifteen. Oh, not thirty again. D6 wow. plus sixteen <sighs> plus <laughs> one. Thirty-two total damage. Oh and then I would like to put the fire rune on that druid, please. What? Uh, okay. What do I need to save? Yeah, hang on for a moment. Let me bring it up. 
strength, the ball. Fire. Also, also no, the, when you hit a creature with an attack weapon, you can invoke the rune to summon fiery shackles. The target takes two D6 fire damage and it must succeed a strength saving throw, DC 15, or be restrained for a minute. While restrained by the shackles, the target takes 2d6 fire damage at the start of each of its turns. So I do I 2d6 now while yeah, I... Roll. Yeah, roll 2d6 now, please. 2d6. Hang on. Burn, baby. Burn. Oh, 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 oh. 10. 42 total Ten. damage. Then at least strength saving throw 15. Uh, BRB. Okay. I failed. I'm restrained. <laughs> restrained. <clears throat> but you know what? She rolled two thirties in a row again. I'm like, this is so fucking spooky. Okay. The fact that she rolled another 30, I want another cool thing to happen. Yes. So as her fiery chains wrap around this, the ghost of this druid, uh, the chains, you know, Ghost Rider style, just burns through the spirit of this ghost, and now he's also gone. Nice. Yeah, he's gone. Back to the gray border. Good. There we go. I think that ends her turn now. I will guess that. And next is Trend of Fear's turn. Ooh. Okay, Lord. Seeing as necrotic doesn't really work as a does it I don't it doesn't require an action or anything. I'm just gonna keep the blasphemy bit and just pull out the the umbrella. Let's, get, let's, get, let's get to smacking, you know? Wait long. What was that? Get the smacking. Nice, it gave me a whole list. <coughs> <coughs> let's see, yeah, I will go and I will do uh number four to Eh, do the insert up any any who is this? Doctor Trench. Oh my God! Hi, I'm gonna swing once. This is sixteen hit. Uh, apparently not. Probably no. Take it long. I have multi attack. Yeah, as long as you're in your form of dread. Okay, does nineteen hit? No, but you can use a wishbone. Thingy twenty. I'll use a bear. My my con my my personal wishbone. There we uh, go. Update yeah. please when you can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that should be twelve psychic for now. And if I recall, I can also use a bonus. Let me let me check properly. Yeah, bonus. This is with proficiencies. Uh, this will not add proficiency. No, no. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'll just use a... a real... I'm always two-handing the... Uh, and no. okay. yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, oh, you can add your sneak attack to the one when you hit. Yeah, that's right. Asa to ako sneak attack? I forgot, no? Where is my sneak attack? Sneak attack. Exclamation mark, A space sneak. Yeah. Oh shit. Twenty-one. That's uh thirty no, how do you mask? So so what's the total and uh, uh twenty-one sneak attack and thirty-three. Uh, what is thirty-three? Thirty-three total. Shit. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And that's yep. it for me. That's yeah, that's that's your turn. Your action bonus action. Are you? Do you plan on moving? No, no, I'm not moving. Okay. All right. Next is the trio's turn. Uh, Magister will move out of the darkness and keep blasting again at some ghosts. And also, Valak will pull out a scimitar and start slashing at other and uh, He'll also enlarge the same way uh, <laughs> Vendetta is. And then round in on the other hand. God what can I do? Him. Wait, do I have to do it at the end of my turn? I think. Let me let me sunburst. check sa uh, ano sunburst. Um, annoying. Oh, I, Link, what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? 
At the end of the turn siya. At the end of the turn. Oh my god. My god. <coughs> my uh, god. What I'll do, I will... Can right. I cast aid even if I'm blinded? Let me check. Choose up to three creatures within range. Oh, it doesn't say I have to see them. So, yeah, you guys will have a gift. Um, at uh, the second level, he's going to cast aid. And uh, Ronan's like, they may not see you, but I will try to uh, do what I can before I unblind myself. And then he says, uh, he says the incantation... Ecom Susa Hegutsa Snow Guard, which just means make us tough as dragons, spelled backwards. And then, yeah, you guys now have an additional uh, plus five to your maximum HP. Nice. Yeah, and I think to your overall HP as well, right now. I think. Oh. 14 damage. Does that? Oh. Uh, 14 oh. damage. And then he will try to move out here. I oh, know, wait. At the end of his turn, no? He'll try to move away to safety and then try to un uh, make a con save. Will I, I pass? I think. I think Ronin uh, has advantage on this concept because he's wearing sunglasses. No! <laughs> Wait, uh, who did you give aid to? Everyone. What, what do you mean? Oh, to, oh yeah, shit, sorry. To three people, it's gonna oh. be... Uh, it's gonna be the, the darkness trio. Oh. No, okay, okay. Thank you. So One, three damage. Five plus five four. plus. Oh, some, oh, yeah, I keep failing the shit. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Whatever, oi. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> so okay, funny. next is the specters. Uh some of them will try to Spectre. attack you in the dark. They will stubbornly try to attack you. And, and fail miserably. And they will fail. Probably. Maybe. Probably. Let's see. You never know. Maka two na twenty skosa <laughs> at a disadvantage. Can you imagine? Okay. What, what if? What if? What if? What so the if? first one fails. Um, you know what? I have to. I'll use my laptop to type this because. I think on the phone is Death. making my life difficult. Okay. <laughs> Next goes C trench. Will he? He will also fail. The other ghost. Oh, this one. Um, seventeen plus four twenty-one. Uh, does that uh hit you, Fira? Oh, wait, what's the now number? Does a 21 hit you? Yes, it does. Okay, so this one is a first <coughs> blast. 3d6. Singe, singe, singe. I have something, pero ti wasasa. Okay. Who hit me again? Uh, dragon dude? It's not trench, it's dragon dude, yeah. Okay. You got seven points of that force damage. Okay, hello, your buke. <laughs> nice. So he has to uh deck save or take whatever this is. Oh shit. Twenty three if he fails, half if he passes. Okay. I think. Well, I well I fail this. Let's see. He fails. Oh shit, then take 23 fire damage. No. Okay. Also, how much damage though? Okay, I will take it now. Uh, the total of the thingy is 7 damage. Okay, take in. Yeah. No reaction for 21. Okay, and then the Spectre that has survived up until now for some reason. <laughs> 
What is that? Wait, don't you good? Okay, this one also fails. Next of the next of the ghosts, they will try to hit the bigger target, so they'll try to go. Nuns with guns will try to attack Vigil, and so will the druids. The druid. Oh no. Oh no, indeed. Oh no. Oh wait, no. Oh. Why am I rolling? Will the druid with... not be dead. He's not yet dead. No. Oh. There's another druid here. The... Wait, I made a mistake. The theme. Um, have, have she been doing the two d six? Every start uh, of its turn. Oh, no, no, no that one died. Fought, they died. Yeah, they died. Oh, they died. You rolled, you rolled three thirties in a row, and I was like, "That's cool. Let's make something cool happen." Oh, you love me too much. But <laughs> it wasn't it towards the druid. No. Oh, this is this another druid. druid. The one in the. Ah, the other druid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the, it. I got the 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 female druid. Oh my god, I was confused there. Why is this a, a dude druid? Oh, that's a woman. The what? Yeah. I mean, you can't yeah. if they decide the if if she decides that she identifies as a dude, then what yeah, a choice. Not <laughs> I took you seriously for a sec, but okay, oh, we're back god. to a regular programming. The back ghost, to the regular um, the ghost that tried to attack Vigil, they failed. So yeah. Um. They suck though. I'm quite big and they still can't hit me. I know, it's really sad. They're scared. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next is uh top of the round guys. So now it's Vigil's turn. Go <laughs> Vigil. Uh, turns out they tried to attack me, but all they did was make it easier for me. Yeah. I have to move to them. Easy. I would bash this nun. Nice. Oh. Um, it's better if you give her the sneak attack because, like, um, the druid is like halfway there anyway. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's why I, I yeah. went done first. Yeah. Hey, but I don't think I can sneak attack, can I? Oh shit! Yeah, you don't have. You... Wait. Oh no. Um, Homer. Um, had feather give you advantage on the druid attack, so you might have sneak attack on her. Yeah. I'll, I'll fight the druid out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do it, lang. Yeah. Okay, I'll roll. Bantay lagi mo critical hit again. Can't wait. Oh, I missed. Unfortunately, oh, missed. Yeah. That's not with advantage. Oh. Oh yeah, that's not with. The, roll it again, one more time. Let that go. Just ten seconds. When you oh. want to hit. Nice. That one hits. Nice. Roll sneak attack. Or wait, does ten kill her? Oh all... uh, no, no, it does not. Okay. Then does thirty five kill her? Does thirty five kill her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the sneak attack is so stupid. I can just imagine Viral saying, "Hey, what's that behind you?" And she looks at him and just bash in the head. Yeah. Dead. <laughs> She... Oh, she oh yeah, the the, the, dead, yeah. the head got stuck in the nails. So I have to like pull it out to pull it. Yeah. Ew. You have and an. She you have... And then I look at the nun. <laughs> You're yeah. Next. <laughs> yeah. You you shoot her. You shoot yeah, her with I the same her. gun that her boss used. The advantage this no. No advantage. No, no, no. But thirty one will hit. I think. Yeah. I think probably. You can add add another charge for an additional oh, yeah. to the ten. Yeah. Yes, I will add charge. There we go. Roll to the ten. Nice. This is a twenty-two. So she gets twenty-two. Oh shit! And um, you have to add a a d four because you're enlarged. Oh okay. Thirty-one to hit. Your bat's extra big. Plus one. Plus I, one. I mean... It's not that bad. So 23. The bullet just bent a bit. Hit a yeah. bit of a vital organ, just poked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Um, That's your action and bonus action. Would you like to move somewhere? Um, nah, I'm good. I think I'm in a good spot. Gotcha. Okay. You don't Next get... is Homer's. Huh? You, you don't want to get your boot out of the water? Yeah, you I don't can. Want yeah, to. I'll just all move here. Hey, Mo. Yeah. Hey, Mo. Oh, my God. You just been right in, too. Very nice. I, I take the singular boot from my backpack, <laughs> but I can't put it in because like it, it was I wasn't wearing it, so it's when still small. Enlarged, yeah. yeah. So now I'm like one boot and one barefoot. 
Homer is <laughs> Homer is fighting another ghost, but yeah, that's all off screen now. Next is Dust Bunny's turn. Okay. <clears throat> Dust Bunny is gonna shit. How many are they still? Three shit. in the There's four in the darkness. Us. Four of us. Yeah. I'll be your for now. Okay. <coughs> okay. First attack trench. Exclamation mark. A Imperator. A D V. Sharpshooter dash B minus five dash D ten. Boom! 27 to hit, 27 damage to, oh. to Trench. My uh, god. 33 plus 27 is 60. 60. Are they dead? Uh, almost. Bitch. Oh shit. Oh my god. What I will. Change targets to the dragon first. Extra okay. attack. 27 to hit, 20 damage, bringing him up to 43. They are not dead, I don't think. Yeah. They're not dead. Okay. I will. What do you sneak attack? I will sneak attack Trench. Trench will okay. surely die. 12. <laughs> 72 total. He dies. Okay, he's dead. Yep, Great. he dies. And then I will extra attack the specter. I mean, no, not no. extra attack. Uh, bonus action attack. The specter. Okay. 26 to hit, 19 damage. So he bring him up. gone as well. 30. Great. Okay, cool, yo, Julio. Productivity. <clears throat> And oh, then go. Dust okay. Bunny is going to fucking action surge. Oh my god. <clears throat> so Copycat. First no. first attack on the the dragon. Twenty one to hit, nineteen damage. Forty three plus nineteen is sixty two. Total? Are they still alive? Uh, few HP left. A few HP. Bitch. Yeah. yeah I wanted that, to that switch targets. Thirty. Fine. Uh, I'll kill the dragon. I I think I missed. Seventeen to hit. Oh, that one misses. Bitch. Okay. No more action surge. Uh, Dustbody's gonna move here, down here. Down here toward the edge, not provoking attack of opportunity. Okay. And turn. Uh, there we go. Next is... Uh, they just turn. Um, I'll say he's fighting another ghost off screen so we can skip his turn. Uh, next is Vendetta's turn. Okay. What is that, ma'am? What is ma'am? Slay. 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 Okay. Back to you too. Yeah, it it um it be surrounded by dogs. <laughs> the miss ma'am. Okay, so um regular attack. Does that 20, hit? Twenty three to hit. Oh my god. Uh, twenty three to hit hits. eleven damage. Sixty two plus eleven is seventy three. Yeah. Um, that dies. Deados. Let's go. <clears throat> what now? So Ghostbusters. It, it'd be dead now. So yeah. Mika switches target to the ninja. 28 to hit. Uh, 11 damage. Okay. Plus D6. Go for it. Go. Go slay. <laughs> RD6. And yeah, bonus. Uh huh. Action. Oh, Tail. Shit. Tail. Uh. Twenty-seven to hit seven damage so for shit. twenty down damage 20. total. Do you are one d six that again? 
My dogs won't leave me alone! <laughs> Stop it! Six full Here damage. You. 26 total damage on the ninja. Oh, the ninja's still there. So... Okay. Fuck the ninja. <laughs> well, well, maybe not like that, but... <laughs> Hopefully Fira, can... fuck him up! <laughs> okay? Okay, uh... It's uh, Fira's turn now. Are you done, Vendetta? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go. I don't even have to move. I'm just gonna swing at him from here. Let me just, uh... Kachar, oi. All of you attacking at, uh, 10 feet distance. Okay, 22. Oh, yeah. That's 30. I'm guessing that hits. 22. 32 hits, yeah, yeah. And then... 16 then... No. And then, uh... Let's see. Without proficiency, no. So, 22 hits. Do I get sneak? Okay, someone's next to me. Or... Yeah, you, you got sneak. <coughs> okay. Yes, sir. That should be... Hello? Mom? Oh, 24. 24. 24 plus... plus 13. 13. That's 24 plus 13 is 37. 37. 37. Yeah. Plus 26. Okay, like... 63. 63. Okay. He's just like... They're still pew, alive because Rafi gave them 70 HP. Good, <laughs> At the top of the round, we're going to kill these people. Don't worry. So we just got to quick draw the... If... Oh, how, what do you call a quick draw on a sword? I'm very anime. She's gonna quick draw the sword. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, the I know katana, what you mean. The katana you just unsheath and sheath right away. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't even know that what's coming because darkness. And I end my turn. Okay. Next will be the trio's turn. Uh, Ronan will try and help. Uh, he's he's compensating now, I guess, with his senses. You know, like so. Here's the action over here. Now will make an estimate and try to shoot the guy. And I'll probably miss, but you know, it's, it's all about trying, you know? <laughs> it's, all about, it's all about the journey and the effort. I feel bad for Ronin. Oh, yeah, bit of Ronin. Let's see. Uh, I got... We got a disadvantage, but I have plus eight. Roll a twelve. Unfortunate. Fuck! Unfortunate. So, so I miss. You hear a bullet just whizzing past by you, Fira, and that's Bunny. <laughs> oh, okay. where did that come from? Oh, he's still there. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, he misses. Uh. And yeah, next will be uh, top of the round again. It's Vigil Stern. Kill the nun. Is Carlo back? Carlo, are you back? I don't think he's back. <laughs> I feel he's cooking. Vigil de los Reyes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I will, Jaeger Pilot. Vigil. Sigi, go. Okay, Lex Talionis Blade on this nun. Uh, el nomine padre, and then, okay, 14 plus padre. 10 is 24 to hit. That hits. Julio, Julio. How no, does Lex, tao, eh, how does Lex Talionis <laughs> blade works again? It's 1d... 1d6, uh, plus 1d4, plus your modifier. Yeah, I put you on plus the pawn, 200. Yeah, if it's 200, that's if it's 200. If it's one-handed, it is... Uh, okay, okay, so yeah, I'll roll this, speaker. and then I'll roll this, yeah. and then I'll roll this. Ignore, un ignore one plus five. So that's just okay. seven. Okay. Really? Dutch. Ah, it's a sneak attack. That's a bitch, right? But he can't sneak yeah, attack. I, he can't sneak he can't... attack, unfortunately. He will he attack... Bo uh, ex ex extra? No, bonus action attack with he the can. pistol. Yeah, with the pistol. Twelve to hit. 24 to hit again. Uh, nice. And then pistol damage, seven, 14 damage. He can add a charge. You can Let's have him add a charge long. Sure. R2D10? So, yeah, 2D10. Boom, bitch. Boom. That's uh, 14 that plus 9. Plus uh, 23. 
Plus seven, right? Twenty three plus. Oh, but this is like a bonus action, so it does. Oh wait, no, but he has his gunner thingy, so. So the total would be. I'm looking at this thing right now. Uh, the pistol that's a plus four, plus seven. Yeah, 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 plus seven. So it's thirty. Yeah. Thirty, 30. total damage plus twenty three is fifty three, damage. Not still nice. not dead. Is that it? Does so, he have extra yeah. shit? No, he doesn't. Uh, he would have killed if it. He could have sneak attacked. Yeah, but it's okay. Uh, can we? What if Vigil was like Ronin? Move over here. <laughs> oh, I'll do it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Fuck okay, yes. There. Sneak attack him now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. 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 Sneak Ronin's attack. Ronin's helping. Because, uh, Ronin is helpful. <laughs> very very helpful. Eight d six. Ridiculous. Twenty six. The yeah. are dead. Fuck you. None he's dead, with gun. He's dead. That's it. Dude. I don't care. He, she's dead. She's dead. Ronin just moves oh. there, and then a gunshot, poof, like flies in front of his face, and then Vigil's like, "Good job, Ronin. You did well." Yeah, and I give him a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm so right. blind. Left. There's one uh, left. Yeah, Vigil's gonna chill there. Yeah. Okay. Um, Dust Bunny, it's your turn. Homer's fighting another ghost. Dust Bunny is I gonna finish off this ninja. Boom. A fucking 18 to I will wishbone this. All my wishbones. No, no, no. What? What? Serious? No, just attack him again. Just try that not another attack. No. Oh, is it the last one, actually? Yeah, it's the last one. Alright, oh, okay, sure. I will, dead. I will I will attack one more time. 25 to hit, 23 what? damage. Am I I will overkill this bitch. I cannot. I missed oh. the last one. 25 to hit, no. 23 damage, and I will sneak attack, A, sneak, and then A, favored, you piece of fucking shit, I'm so angry. <laughs> so that's 2, <laughs> plus 11, plus 23, 43, 36 fucking dam damage, DM, thus Bunny at this point is just like, yeah, ghost, bush, bush, bush. and one of them hits and kills the ninja. Nice. Dead. So you disintegrate this ghost and <sighs> something happens, but I also want Carlo to be here. So is Carlo here? <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, please don't. God damn it, Carlo, we're taking a break. <laughs> we're taking a no, break. No, it's three. We're, we're, our run we're out of combat. We will okay. resume, but we'll take a break first. Okay, okay yeah. our runtime is three hours and 22 minutes. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Pausing. All right, so we're out of combat now, guys. Uh, we managed to uh, defeat all the ghosts, but suddenly, before anything else, uh, is the is, is the sound of the rain like? No. Is it? Do you guys hear it? No. Okay, thank God. Okay. So this is a cutscene now, guys, but it's a char cutscene. So more specters start erupting from the mayor. And, you know, you're like, oh, shit, you know, we have to fight all these ghosts again. When will this end? When all of a sudden, other spirits start coming out and fighting the specters, huh? And mm. some of these spirits are helping you. And uh, Vendetta, like, uh, like, I don't know if you're going to activate your darkness still, but... Uh, I feel like you will stop activating yeah. the minute you well, see one of Yeah. Yeah, you suddenly see one of the familiar spirits. One of them is Nikolai's spirit actually helping Aww. you. Yeah. yeah. And not only that, but even the spirit of Huntress. And hey. the rest of the Soteris actually are like showing up as uh, spirits to like fight off the, the rest of the ghosts. And... Uh, no one knows this actually, but one of them is also <laughs> like Ronan's uh, dead father. But Ronan is fucking blind to see it. <laughs> oh no! Can <laughs> they show a heal or something? Can someone heal him actually? Like oh, you know a fucking, healing you, potion? You know what? Fuck it. I'm the DM. He heals. He fucking passes his con save. So, Good. Okay. Yes. Only last for like one minute. Yes. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. We'll say yeah. So, yeah, Ronan gets to see the spirit of his father as well. And then uh, for those who were in session seven, 
one of the kids that you met, Henry, unfortunately passed away, son, during the monster attack. So oh. that's why his spirit is here, son. So, yeah. And even Sussy Baka is here to help. Oh, my, oh my God. Welcome, welcome back. No, welcome yeah. Sussy Baka. So, so they fight the, the ghosts, you know, and eventually the ghosts are gone. And all that remains now are, like, the helpful spirits, Bipal. And, yes. yeah, you guys can uh, say something to these spirits while they're still here. Oh, shit, they're alive again. Hello. <laughs> Literally, uh, hi. <laughs> oh. Uh, Nikolai tells you, like, Oh, Mandepa, I have missed you. I have yeah. sensed this. I've sensed this opening in the, in wherever it was I ended up, and I thought I should come and help one last time. Oh, oh, Kasan, I will stop. Vendetta will start crying and say, I'm sorry I wasn't able to protect you. And it's like, oh, don't worry, Vendetta. I, w I died trying to protect you, and jet and at least i died doing how uh, protecting the people i care about uh, by the way jet also comes into the room and like sees this as well yeah and they also like uh share a moment said uh, between father and son and saying uh, you know like nikolai tells he's proud of him and like uh Whatever happens now, like at least he still has his mother. And also Ronan. And yeah. And even uh, Huntress and the rest of the superiors, they will come towards Vigil and uh, they, they all tell you like they miss, they miss you a lot. And like, uh, you know, whatever happens now, they will do their best to like, watch over both of you hostess and also baby jonathan oh man i don't i think i think for the most part vigil would be like speechless mostly because yeah. he couldn't he, he's faced with grief for not being able to choose either huntress or, or hostess to revive it was a yeah. very tough decision for him so he could just not really face them yeah but huntress anyway, actually is, yeah yeah inside he's actually very grateful to see them again yeah Huntress actually comes forward and tells you, like, oh, please don't uh, blame yourself for choosing Hostess. Uh, like, it was a difficult situation, and I'm glad that happened in the end. And uh, we're just glad we had this chance to, like, uh, express how we felt over what happened, because now maybe we have a chance to pass over properly. Aww. Nice. Yeah. And even Henry talks to Trandafir and Dust Bunny, and he's like, Hey, mister, whatever happens, I hope you guys kill the guy who's responsible for my death. Because it no. sucks over there. No, we will. We will. Remember, was this the kid that I... I sleight of hand? Yeah, you was stole it? his shoes, yeah. Remember, Grey Border. Remember the, remember the, the trick I taught you. Go get them shoes. I mean, I can't, but sure, I'll I'll try that. Uh, it's not a you can't. It's a you can with practice. Well, then, uh, what about you, Dust Bunny? Do you say anything or? Yeah, Dust Dust Bunny puts a hand on Henry's shoulder and bends down to one knee, and then <clears throat> he. He like pulls over his, he lifts up his goggles, revealing his face. And he says, listen, kid, when in times when you're scared, sometimes the best thing you can do is put on a mask that makes you feel brave. And that's what I do. And it's not only, not only that, these, this mask that I wear, and the mask that you might wear, could also be a symbol of hope for others. So, I hope 
that you pass on peacefully. Forget about this guy who who <clears throat> caused you to pass away. I just want you to move on with your afterlife. We'll take care of things here. And then uh, Henry says, like, Oh, gee, thanks, Dutch Bunny. Uh, I never got to say this, but I think you're a cool adventurer. Oh. And then Dust Bunny puts puts his goggles back on and stands back up, and then he he just says, "I know." This <laughs> <laughs> man. Yeah. So. Maybe I should be finished with the ritual, right? He fear looks over to check. It it takes a while bit off for her to uh finish the ritual, but um while while you guys are having uh conversations with these spirits uh. Uh, yeah, like eventually, um, her silhouette starts becoming like strongly visible again. Oh, and by the way, like for as for Ronin, like he sees his father. His father is, in a way, a bit similar to Ronin in regard in physicality. You see Ronin like actually like, uh, kneeling down in front of his father and, uh, talking to him and you know like, uh, stuff about like how he wishes that. Uh, he made his uh, father proud of him, and uh, yeah, his his father also like uh, says some encouraging words to him. And while that is happening, finally, uh, uh, the mayor's uh, ritual stops, and she, uh, uh, her spirit is uh, her body is still like there, but right now it's being superimposed by by this uh, other spirit. And this spirit is, uh, you've seen her now in like the history books that you all checked about Golgotha. And this is the spirit of Luna Lee, the champion. She's a dru- the druid champion of Vida. She is the one person who built the tree to lock away Golgotha, and she might have some answers about how to beat this guy. So yeah, you guys can come forward towards her, or she will actually come forward to you guys. And uh, she does this uh, while occupying like uh, uh, the body of of the mayor. She's essentially using herself as a conduit for Luna Lee. So she comes over, and she tells you guys, Oh, greetings. Uh, I see that I've been summoned here back again after a long time. Uh, can I ask why it is you've called me from my rest? Uh, Golgotha has come forth, and we're here to find out what his name is since his name is missing from the Book of the Dead. Oh. Right, you might know. I see. I was afraid that my husband's return would be stopped when I erased all his records, but I guess that didn't work. Uh, excuse me, what? Can you repeat that? He, she, she said that, uh, that she, 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 that that she she erased his 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 records. Uh, you you were this person's wife. Did yes. I hear that correctly? Yes, that that is true. We were back then. We were married together, and uh, he used to be a good person, but. Back then, when the Great Tyrrhenian War happened, so many horrible things happened to him that forced him to, that turned him into a monster. See, my husband, he was, he was not an art fae from the start. He was a normal elf who became a druid. And uh, he became a very powerful druid during the war. And out of desperation, 
he perverted the old faith. He used his magic, the druid magics he had, to twist and pervert life, to create some of Tyrant's earliest monsters. And I, when he did that, I lost the man I love, metaphorically speaking. speaking. During the war, he got his hands on the Book of Vitro and removed his name to ensure he'd become immortal. And I didn't have the heart to kill him, so all I did was create the tree to lock him away forever from Tyron. And, uh, yeah, but I see that that didn't work. He found his way back here, so I will help you to... To put his name back in the book, you do have to kind of be aware of his original name. And his name is let me let me Do not touch. say Eduardo. Do not no, no. Eduardo. I will, I will going to cry. I will do not cry. say John Cena de la Cruz. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, yeah, no, 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 no. So his name is Golgotha, but as the father of monstrosities, his actual birth name was Adam oh, Calvary. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to be I'm going to be honest, Goldnotha sounds better than Adam Calvary. <laughs> I mean, that's why Goldnotha. I'm I I, I, I like name. Adam more. Yeah. Roll off the tongue. When he, uh, when Adam became immortal and I banished him in the Feywild, he found another way to become, to ascend as an Arc Fey. I don't know how, but he has had plenty of time since he's immortal, so he must have used it to his advantage. Right now, um, the tree that I created, it was designed to make sure that he doesn't exist in this plane. Now, magic doesn't, isn't completely destroyed, even if the container is damaged. The tree bark that the mayor used to summon me, you can use it to fashion a weapon. If you could um, use that, you could probably use a piece of the Book of Vitro to include in the weapon. That way you could extract his name the force that keeps him immortal out of his body and uh, his name will teleport back into the book of vitro if we stab him with the with the, the weapon created from this tree bark so yeah i think that is how you can cancel out his immortality and and end him as a threat once and for all is there uh, anything else you would ask of me and yeah dust you're... bunny raises his hand Sure. What is it? So Calvary is like is like reinforcements, right? No, like those people who are no. on horses. Stop it. Um, oh my no, goodness. no. Calvary you're thinking of uh the cavalry. This ah. is Calvary. It it's the name of it was the name of uh a, a, a certain carpenter died in the on a hill named Calvary and it's kind of a name that a druid stone. it's a long story got it yeah. okay thanks for clearing and, that up and you're yes. okay with well i suppose you've moved on but i mean he's he i've i locked him away in the fey world hoping that he'd have time to like change his mind like he had all he had a thousand years to think through all his mistakes and to atone for them but if he's chosen to to do this, to threaten Tar Taran. I mean, I understand the war has broken him as a man, but it's no excuse to pervert life, to transform monsters, to create monsters and other beasts of destruction. He deserves to be killed now. Yes. Uh, isolation without guidance is useless. But sure, we'll, we'll do that for you. So, so, so anyway, uh, uh, Lul, Lul, 
Lul? Lul. Luli. Lul? Lul. You can call me Lul. Yeah, that's a nickname. Okay. Anyway, Lul. Uh, this is this is Rowan Ro- Ronan. Uh, his yes. f- his family is uh, like blacksmiths and whatever. They, hey Ronan, you can you can make a make a, a weapon out of a tree bark. Yes. Did you just a Ronan the the emperor? He's an ex. <laughs> he's an ex emperor. Uh, Ronan says. Uh... It's it's quite all right. I'm I'm used to being a civilian now. So, uh, anyway. Yeah, he's a peasant now. Don't, please don't say that. I'm not a peasant. I'm just a civilian. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, "Yes, I could. I could fashion a dagger out of the tree bark. We could add a bit of metal in it to make sure the cutting power is strong. Me yes. and the head priest can work on it." Yes, I okay. thought so. What's what's our time frame? You have to give us the whole night, perhaps. You can take a long rest while while we work on it. How does that sound? Cool. And Lul, you said we needed a uh, we needed a piece oh of God. the of the book of vitro it, with the, the, with with the dagger. That's true. Yes, perhaps uh, a piece of paper from the book will do. It will you be used as a conduit ah. so that the name can be absorbed back into the page and into the book, therefore. Ah. Will that be a problem? I don't know if the priests would like that. Uh, okay, ab- uh, above, above game, above game. Above game, so it's a tablet. The book can't be destroyed, right? No, it's also a tablet. Yeah, it was, oh, it's a tablet. Like... Fuck, fuck, fucking hell, shit. <laughs> Okay. okay. So we could just say a rock then, a piece of a piece of the a piece of the tablet then. That's what I meant. A pe okay. A like just just shave. No, it's a golden tablet. Oh, it's oh a golden goodness. tablet. Okay. Oh, no. Imagine no, no. imagine the 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 tablet of in the, Night at the, the Museum. Uh, the Pharaoh uh, Said will not be happy. Yeah, it it will will be happy happy okay. The tablet. No, we don't have to shave off anything. <laughs> uh, what happens is, uh, wow, well, we dagger, we put the dagger yeah. through the tablet, uh, the, like sorry? the magic magic ritual thing that the, the tablet does. Oh shit! Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do that. Anyway, Ronan can Ronan and the head priest can figure out what to do. So they can cool. learn how to infuse some of the tablet's magic into the dagger. Cool. You know, and. And the tree bark is special, so it will allow it to happen. Great. So yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice. So Lil gives you the instruction, and it's like, I'm sorry, I forgot that it was a golden tablet. You know, it's been a thousand years, and I'm like, I'm in heaven, okay? I'm chilling. <laughs> yeah. Leave me be. Cut me some slack. Yeah. So, so yes. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's uh, all my questions, Looney. Thanks. All right. And then, uh, and then the both um, Ronan's father and Lol actually they, <laughs> Lol, <laughs> they, <laughs> they both, they both uh, come towards Ronan and they tell him like we that they both entrust him for uh, to forge this blade because only the Wandering Smith can do it. And then Ronan is confused. He's like, what do you mean the wandering smith? But they play coy about it. You know, I tell him like they a smith who wonders. I wonder about I, I what? Know, I know that, but I'm there are also other smiths that wander around, so oh. I guess I'll find out. Wander. I guess I shall find out for myself then. And then, yeah, um, you can say some final things to all the other ghosts before they disappear. Like, if you want to say something, you want to be like, you know, blow a flying kiss or something. Aww. You're blowing a flying kiss to. <laughs> I can blow a, fl- a flying kiss to my hot uncle Nikolai. 
Yeah. <laughs> Dust Bunny's gonna go to Nikolai. Yeah. And he's gonna say, Hey, Nikolai, I promise whenever I stop by your club, I'm gonna buy a carrot juice. Oh, that, uh, that would be great, actually. That'd be nice. And then Jet's like, Oh, uh, sadly, Dad, um, when, the mo when the monsters came around, our club got destroyed. It's okay. it Maybe like, not. <laughs> are you fucking serious? No, I, I, I refuse to move on until the club is fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Nikolai, Nikolai, it's okay. It's okay. Just, we, will, we will handle it. It's okay. Why would you say such a... My cousin, yes. it, it be not smart. Yes, I am, yes. I am... This is literally the worst thing that has ever happened to me, and I was murdered. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But... Sip. You know, you know, unlike... You, we can't really. Can we? Jed, we clear? Jed, you're a dumb fuck. <laughs> but Jed's like, it's like uh, I'm sorry, okay? Like I thought Dad had need needed to know. Please leave the himbo alone. What can he do about it? What the <laughs> hell, man? He's doing that shit. Like, Yo, you you have to leave him alone, okay? I know he's an idiot, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Ronin. Uh, what? What is up? You have like rich friends. Maybe they can invest in in Nikolai uh, and Jen's new club. Very businessman. We can. And <laughs> uh, yeah, he's the businessman. This guy's a businessman. We can uh, talk about it after the maybe solve the crisis. Different. You know. True. Yeah. Again, yeah. Jed. I saw of this, you're a dumb fuck. <laughs> I, I, Jed's like, I'm, I'm a the doctor. Guy so, black. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> yeah, two uh, people are doctors here, it's not special. Uh, this one, this one, this one teaches at a university. What do you do? <laughs> yeah, all you do is hey, save hey. lives. A cleric can oh, do that. Oh, hey. They can. Hey. Oh. <laughs> hey. It's like we must not Stop fight. It. We must. We must all be um, in of one heart so that we're we can hard. avenge my death. Okay. We're fighting about the wrong things. <laughs> You're yeah. fighting about the wrong. <laughs> Listen, dust bunny. Okay, and then he, and then fear just grabs every inch of his head with every hand. Oh Yo, my! Yo, listen. Oh yes. <laughs> You we have my ears. Literally. Are, I'm sorry. We're going to kill Golgotha. We're going to avenge Nikolai. We're going to fix the club. It's okay. <laughs> and we're going to party. Come here. Yes, yes. We're gonna do a and get party drunk on party. carrot juice. Yes. Sure. Fuck yeah. Sure. Let's go. Okay. And, and then he just lets go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, the spirits oh, are all slowly like disappearing, right? And like Nikolai's literally the last to pass on. He's like, remember Overshadow, I refuse to pass on until you fix the club. Yes, we I know. I swear it. <laughs> we cannot fix the club if there's literally a giant thing. It's okay, after this we'll fix it, don't worry. Yeah, you can hang, you can hang. It. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Really just I... push it to him. Yeah, then it dissipates as well. That's so oh funny. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's a funny way to go. Yeah, well, that's not funny. But... <laughs> well, well, we have our mission. Crazy ass. And then uh, Homer comes back and he's carrying the mayor who's like so exhausted from the possession. Oh, so shit. yeah. Mommy. Mommy. Strength. Mommy. Yeah, Mommy. Strength. Goth mommy needs her nap, you know. Yeah, pretty goth, yeah. pretty goth mommy. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't need their naps. Holy crap! And then, uh, 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 the rest. So the rest of you guys, um, we were we're gonna skip to the part where I uh, know they, uh, uh, you guys will be taking a long rest before you return to Stoldavi Island. Cool, um, cool, yo. You guys also get to watch that, um, you know, uh, Ronin and the head priest. They're the ones who are toiling uh, the whole night to create this dagger. And 
uh, with uh, Pharaoh Said's permission, they uh, are given access to the Book of Vitro with several ebony guards present, you know, just to make sure. And then, yeah, um, Ronan and the head priest are able to extract a bit of magic from the tablet and infuse it into the dagger. And uh, you see, like, uh, when the dagger's presented to you, you see, like, the name Adam Calvary is, like, magically carved into the dagger. Nice. And... Uh, yeah, um, you guys are able to take a long rest, uh, in one of the, actually Ronan will offer you to, like, stay in, like, the new house of the Hungry Crew, the friends that he has, but, uh, but that all happened off screen, unfortunately, and, uh, yeah, um, you also notice that uh, Jed and Ronan have a few interactions, and it's pretty obvious that, you know, that they have history. But uh, they're, they're doing bouch wow wow <laughs> Well, not exactly, because, um, you know, like, Jed just lost his dad. I don't think he's in the mood, you know. It's like, my father's gone, and Ronan's like, you want to fuck Shit, you don't know that. <laughs> no. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, cheer oh, up, sex. Uh, yeah, cheer, cheer up, oh sex. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm, I so think that's a thing. I'm so glad that. You know, in fairness, in fairness, Jed did get to say goodbye to his dad and, like, you know, the session seven. So, so yeah. maybe something did happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Maybe. Yeah. You know. And then, anyway, uh, the, you guys are now back at the temple. The head priest and Ronan present to you guys the, the dagger. So the head priest comes and tells you. So I hear that you guys are the ones who commissioned us for the dagger. Um, and here it is. Here is the dagger, like you've asked. Uh, all you need to do is, uh, I guess, based with the magic, um, all you need to do is stab Adam Calvary once. And what this dagger will do is it will extract the immortality and his name out of his body and it should teleport back into the tablet. Mm -hmm. Even if it's all the way here in Exoria. So who here do you do we entrust to uh, stab Golgotha when you when you confront him? All of us are rogues. We can use daggers. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not me though. Yeah, yeah, give it, one of give it to the ones who are, who actually Not use daggers cool. and shit. Oh my god, Bright Moon. <laughs> Bright mm. Moon or Tej or... Tej or anyone really. I mean, Vigil can, can, can use it too. Oh, I can use it too. Shit, who do you give it to? <laughs> Maybe <Huh>? just... <laughs> Maybe, Maybe just the fastest. Yeah. Well, I will let you decide on your own, but maybe try not to this to to procrastinate on this when you do the actual assassination. Oh. So here is the dagger, and then I'll ask someone of you. Homer takes the dagger for now. Yeah, Homer is the most responsible for now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and go. Okay. <laughs> and then. Yeah, we can, uh, uh, like, uh, Pharaoh Said actually comes to see you off as well. Uh, we can do a bit of roleplay over here before, uh, before we wrap this up. So, is there anything you want? Oh, uh, yeah, the mayor will tell uh, Pharaoh Said and Ronan, like, thank you both for, for assisting us in this. And then, so it's like, no problem. Uh, if this affects all of Theron, then it's our obligation to help. And Ronan also says, I must also alert the Republic as well. Perhaps we could send reinforcements to the island. And uh, as we are both allies, you know, it's like, that will be much appreciated. And what about you guys? What else would you, anything else you want to roleplay or uh, ask or clarify? Um, maybe none for me. 
Yeah, sayang. We just have to stab the guy. Stab, he stab. <laughs> Does the pharaoh drink? <laughs> oh, not this. Now is not hmm. the time, madam. Yeah, wait, does the fire drink? Yeah, I mean, wait, we will we we'll oh, have no. to... He wasn't in the party, so no, he doesn't, right? No, yeah, he does no. not. He's very, he very drink. responsible. Weak. Very straight edge. Wait, very straight can edge. I can I try? Can I try? Can I try to peer pressure him into drinking? <laughs> I eat well. Unfortunately, he's very responsible. A check really wouldn't work. He will really refuse. He's like, I'm sorry, but to rule this country, I need to have a clear mind at all times. Can I peer pressure Hackby? Hackby? is not here. Can I peer pressure this dude? The head beside, priest. Beside Homer? The, priest? the head priest, uh... The, the head priest is like, I will occasionally... Uh, imbibe you, would, but... Yeah, you literally drink wine in every fucking ceremony, don't you? But but don't you have an assassination to do? Right. <laughs> so we can we can insert. I mean, we have to teleport, and our teleport Maybe. guy will look for a tree or some shit. Maybe save mm. it for after we're done saving the world. <laughs> Yeah, Ronan's like, yeah, we will, let's save that for when you when you guys assassinate the guy, and then you can come back here and we can celebrate, you know? Yeah. Okay, boozers. I will. I will tag guy with Balak on the way. Let's go. <laughs> we will. I will assume that we have like a flask, an alcohol flask, with us all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me and Balak will drink. Yeah. To think so your uh, very uh, questioning about us, your scaliness. <clears throat> <laughs> no. Oh yeah, because you're a you're a snake person, you know. You're like spell of scalies, you know. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, your scaliness. Oh my God. Um. Yes. I don't uh, think that's how you should. Who- Who's more powerful, a pharaoh or an emperor? Like if 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 Ronan over there still was still an emperor, who's more powerful between the two of you? We I'm just going to j- slowly drag Simon and like, away. Okay. And like the there's also like like kings and queens. Like so who's more powerful who, who's the oh, who, no. who's Simon. like pharaoh? Pharaoh, emperor, and king. Who? Which one? What's the power hierarchy there? Simon, Simon. Those oh are two different God. regions. They Ronan, call their rulers Ronan. differently. Ronan, you know that is a very interesting question. Technically, I am the king of three countries. I am only called emperor because I am the ruler of three states. And Said here is ruler of only one state. <laughs> oh, oh shit! <laughs> shit. Let oh. us. Okay, that's we'll nice. Be, we are going to be on our way. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Um, just gonna start holding at, at Simon in like a language and he doesn't even know. He's just gonna mix it up on him. And like, then, oh, and uh, Jed is going with you guys, you know, and Ron is like, Bye, Jed, I'll wait for you. Oh my god. No, okay. God damn it. I mean, I I am drunk. I I should be the one that's saying <laughs> stupid shit. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. This guy's sober. Simon was genuinely curious. <laughs> shit. No, Simon, please. You're gonna. In before, there's just like a war happening and it's because a, of that start conversation. Go <laughs> slowly like and whatever and the f- oh. oh my god. Uh, Right. Before we end the session, uh, a small post-credit scene happens, actually. Right. And uh, in this post-credit scene, it's only between Ronan and the High Priest, but this is uh, a small build-up to, to Ronan's guest appearance, uh, which chronologically takes place still a year later, but still. Yeah. So Ronan and the Head Priest are, are here in, this, uh, in their office. And Ronan shows him the box. And the box, they both can tell that this magic seals are weakening on the box. And then 
Ronan says, I guess that explains it then. It took me a while to notice that the box defenses were tampered way before. But unfortunately, the energy wave that Golgotha unleashed made it much worse. We have to recreate the protection magic of this to make sure it doesn't open eventually. The head priest says, There's only one way to do it, Ronan. But you're not going to like my answer. To prevent this box from opening, you need to find someone from the very same people who can open this box instantly to reinforce the magic seals. And it's like, oh, my life. <laughs> really? <laughs> I have to find them and risk getting this box instantly open anyway? Who the hell designed this magic ceiling? Who did this? Why is... And then that feels like, you know what they say, Roman? The Golden Warlord gives the toughest struggles to his strongest soldiers. That is you. <laughs> it does not make me feel any better. And there we, and that's where we end the session. The... GG. GG. Yeah. Like and subscribe, guys. Hey. Like and subscribe. <laughs> GG. Thank you so much for watching. Sin and Skull Duggery. Uh, third to the last of the pre penultimate episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. And. Whenever you this gets uploaded, this was the Halloween special for Sin and Skill Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>